Shout out. You said that was just you? Yeah, warm up in there. They, they start moving around. For those that do the rest of them, they'll be stiff anyway. Don't make no difference. Depending on where they at. I don't know what they be doing. They just kind of, everybody kind of got their own way. How do you do it at the end of the day? That's what you got to do. I guess I'm a live streamers up there. Listen, I hope they in. They, they are live and kicking. Y'all live and kicking up down? What they say? Dwight's still on the phone? Oh, they ain't here first time doing that on Shabbat, is it? Everybody, he know him. They might be calling Chelsea, maybe she in the other room. She probably got tired of that bad attitude, ain't it? Yeah, we appreciate your whore for everything, though. Hope a lot she feel better. Along with some other, my man Uriah, heard he wasn't feeling well, but Yahuwah a healer. Ain't that right? And a keeper. And a restore. The only way you're going to know it, you got to be sick. Sometimes people testify about what he'll do. It ain't because you know, it's because you heard other people's story. At some point, you got to have your own testimony. That's your being honest. A lot of times, people don't want to go through so they can see for themselves exactly what Yahuwah will do, but he'll do what he said he'll do. You just got to be willing to trust him so you can see for yourself. See the Sneed boy, they back down there. Yeah, I got the math. What y'all doing? How y'all do, my uh, my young people? How y'all do before I go? Who screwed up so far? Who had a good week? The whole week. I know Gabby messed up. Let me see they had a good week the whole week. I have a woman. Where you right at? He'll tell me. I tell him to choke whoever did, that'll tell him. How about the rest of them? Good week. Jordan, how we do, Jordan? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> they should have had you on Friday, part six. Josiah, how many days we had? How many days? <laughs> Take them right a long time. John, I see you. It don't take that long. Just put your fingers up there, Joker. He said he had one bad day. I don't know. They're not going to get some of my darn glasses. Some of them work out too well. Huh? How many days, Josiah? How many days we had? Good days? Oh, it ain't coming through. Just give me some fingers. Except the middle one. If you ain't have a one good day, don't hang up the middle one. Do the booger finger. How many days? You had three good days or three bad days? Three good days? All right. Two bad ones. Then we got to do That's all. We're going we gonna to just re-execute us another plan. How many days we had, Bobby? One bad day. Oh, my God. How many days we had, Bobby? One bad one? How many days? One good day? Two good days? Well, it ain't hard to put that number together, ain't that right? If you had good, two, day, two good days, that means you had three bad ones, ain't that right? So we're gonna do, we'll, we'll do some adjustments. That's all, it just take a little adjusting. Try to get it right, but I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the rest of y'all for getting all five days. Let me see my hands again. Look at that. Did y'all see? Come on, yes. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let me hear a little bit too. Yeah. How many days? Six. Yes. How you had six days? Because because we was going on a field trip. Y'all going on a field trip? When was it on? Sunday? It was on today. On the day, and you counted that six days. It was a good day. So that count for two? Yeah, so how you getting these numbers? You going on a field trip that count for two days? Where you went to in a way? I went to um Where? I went to a place. A place? <laughs> you in a place now. I went to a fun place. Oh, that's a fun place. You ain't having fun? I'm enjoying myself. 
to the watch. Six days. Okay. All right, we're going to that Shabbat. You tripping. That's it. Okay, how many days we had? Four? Four. We know what we got to do. Did we make an adjustment? Did we have, we got off? We know what we got to do. How, the rest, how many rest of y'all, what y'all do to do better? Y'all start looking at making adjustments? Okay. Did distractions come? Okay. Look at what happened to you. How many days you had? Five days. Five good days. Uh-oh. Can't that, that sound about right? He, he do all right. He can do it. And Bobby had two days. No, Josiah had three. Who else I'm missing out there? Jeremiah, how many? Jordan, what, what happened our days? Somebody had, you had five Micaiah. Five. Who else sold up? Asa saying he had five. Who handled that up now? Somebody said four. That's you, Makai, with the four. Who is that over there with the four? Oh, Alyssa. Oh, my goodness. Alyssa. Alyssa, you had the four. So we got to tighten it up there. That's all. And you had how many, Jordan? Four. What you had? Five and a half? Four. four. What you did to finger cross him? What that meant? Is this some kind of gang sign or something? <laughs> oh, the thumb about four. Okay. He get it from his dad. He get a finger from his dad. We got to do better. <laughs> I had a... <laughs> when the puppy kid, I seen that. You had five days. Jeremiah, we had five days. Is them five fingers down there? I see four fingers over there. Oh, that five. Okay. I see him. John and Robinson. I thought I seen four fingers. Kayla, we good for five, right? Five. That's what I'm talking about. Jeremiah? Oh my goodness, it come an explanation. They start that, it come an explanation. What we do? Just give me some hands. What you do? Give me some fingers. How many days? How'd it take all that time you had five good days? Them five bad days or five good days? Five good, that's good. Where's your um, elderly sister? <laughs> I don't even ask Nolan. I already know old Nolan messed up. There's no way Nolan get one day right. How we doing, Miss Grown Lady? How many days? Five days. That's good. How do other people do it to send your citizen home? <laughs> that's right. And that right. That's good. That's good. It must have been Jello week. I know old people, old people don't use the cut up when they got that jello. They know that that's a treat. You don't get that all the time. Isn't that right? Hey, we know. Yeah, we appreciate all y'all. Man, that, that, that God the mighty. Man, paper towel messed me up. I don't know what I did. That happened anyway. I just had to do it blind. It's all the same way. Isn't that right? Do it. Where the other blind kid at? How you do it? Blind joker. All right. We'll talk to y'all a little bit, but definitely we try to make sure we get this thing right. Y'all know we're going Romans 15 and 4. The foundation, see which way they're going today. How about that? Yes, sir. Oh, I don't want to write no seven for them. 15 and 4. Important for us to get that. This definitely might allow that um, we get this thing correct, people. I know that ain't everybody go, but you know, as it get closer to the end, if it hadn't been your agenda, you're gonna wish it had been. As a figure of speech, wish, and I wish, as they call it, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna wood that it happened. <clears throat> Especially our young people tell it again, it's a good opportunity for y'all to get it right. Yeah, how many days? Did you have your hand? How many days you had got it? Four. Four. Well, Deuce, were you good all week? I don't know, but I could. But as soon as my mom just got home, yeah. he said. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just got like 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you had four bad days. We working with you then, dude. All right, Romans 15 and 4. There's always one I'm in. There's always one in the crowd. Romans, he's going to get that from his daddy. 15 and 4. Let's see where we're going with this. Listen. For whatever Nika Tab before. So we know what that was written before. Nika Tab to along with us. What we said teach was. I remember. Show and tell. To show do what now? To show or explain to someone how to do something. Is that what it said? Let's see the definition. That one of my young people said what it was. <clears throat> so what if that person and y'all that um, when y'all go to class, the person standing out there that um, handles the blackboard, hand out assignment. What do they call that person? Teacher. And what do they? What do teachers typically do? Teach. So they're trying to show, explain to someone how to do something. So when they're doing that, why y'all in school talking and messing up? I'm confused. Since y'all learning what the word is, so how y'all getting this wrong? So when they up there and they start instructing, what are they trying to do? How to do something. So when y'all disruptive and y'all talking and y'all doing something else, how is that helping? Then you don't know. So as we learn it here, we don't need you just learning it here. We need you to think about it when you go other places. That's why they call them the teacher, because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to show, explain how to do something. Same way, see what happens in here a lot of time why people screw up, because this is as far as you go with what you know. What you learn in here, you got to be able to use out here as well. You got to function out here. Y'all got it. These are the things that people don't realize, it, and, it, and it makes a difference in your living when you don't know where to use it at. This is what I'm teaching you. You can use this anywhere. I'm just being honest. I mean, I mean, you can use it for trading. You can use it for business. You can use it for for employment. You can do this at everything. You can do it how to, in your marriage. You can use this thing everywhere. That's right. I think the problem happened though. A lot of people, you just using them. You you learning it, but I don't, well, I don't even know if you learn it. I guess some of you just really trying to just recite or just trying to just kind of fake it and pass it. But you got to go out here and demonstrate it. That's what happened in life when people go to school. People go and get degrees. They get out there. They can't find a job because they don't know how to use it. <laughs> you know, apparently you know how to use it. I can't see having a degree and you can't use it. Why, what's the purpose of it? You can't use it. So you really don't know. You just acquire something, you don't even know how to use it. I'm just being honest. It, it, things you need to say, this, this is good for me because I know how to use it. I know where to use it at. I know it's in my everyday living. I know it's in all of my operation and my doing. It allows me to consider things. It gives me a different visual about things. A lot of times you guys don't do, you get out here and you go and uh, well, forget that. That's when I go to service on Wednesday. That's when I go to service Shabbat Layla and Shabbat Day. Then you back off to the races. You got to realize this don't ever stop. Right. You know what I'm saying? You sit here, you got an opportunity to go and assess how you done. Just like my young people, I, just to get, I try to get you guys to assess how you're doing. Daily, you ought to be able to examine yourself. <laughs> I know, I, I tell my young people all the time, y'all going to have some days, you know, ain't going to be your best days, but when you learn, and when you get the understanding, then you start to look at how you maneuver to make every day sufficient at least. You know what I'm saying? Make it aware it's not a, it's not a loss to you. So you can't keep having all these losses, not when you get Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, let's see. So we, we, we agree on that? The show explain to someone how to do something. And the person at school that does the instruction, they're called who again? So when you talk and they, so let me get this straight. And what are these teachers supposed to be doing? So when they call or write a letter to y'all parents and say, hey, I was, I was trying to instruct the class and your kid was disruptive. So your parents should be talking to you to say, what's going on? That, that's the teacher. Don't you know the teacher is trying to instruct this man? Oh, you already know this. That's, I mean, that's, a direct, so that's a direct violation. Hello? That's the truth. That's a direct violation. So you got to start looking. See, when you know, now you require it. I'm just at that point, you hold, I got to hold you responsible at that point because you know why. You know what you're doing. That's the purpose. I know the parents are not going to pay attention. That means they know. <coughs> that means they know. That's the teacher. So what does the teacher do, my young people? Show and explain how to do something. So they're trying to show and explain how to do something. You cutting up. You're doing something else. That means you don't know, right? You don't know what they're doing. Y'all don't have no idea what they're doing. Y'all have no idea that you should be listening because they're trying to show and explain to y'all how to do something, correct? Y'all don't know that, right? You said, no, so you don't know that? That's tight. Y'all hear that? Y'all agree? Hands, he said, they say, yes, y'all do know that. Hands? Hands? Who didn't know that? Who don't know that? 
and we don't know that your teacher is trying to show and teach y'all something. Raise your hand if y'all understand that, what your teacher's doing. Blinded. Get your hand up, boy. So at that point, y'all see the hand parent? Raise them high so your parents can see them. <coughs> so when y'all get a call or get a letter and they saying, you know, I was trying to teach the class, and you know your kid was disrupting the class, you're going to have a dumb conversation asking them, what you doing? Don't you know it? You're going to have that conversation for real? You shouldn't have that conversation because they know. That's the, we're teaching it in here. What we're teaching here, we want them to demonstrate it out there. See, I'm, I, I want to be a proponent for let's stop being stupid. Some of the stupidity come from the parents. I'm telling you why. Y'all play a lot of games you shouldn't play. We got to start instructing them in what they got to do. You know, tell them what we got to do. Listen, this is their future. This is being honest. You can't play them. That's your kid's future. Something happened to you, you fall down, you can't work no more. You get to a certain age. Who you looking to take care of you? Us? Because we last. The safari teach that your kids are required to take care of you first, not us. We have no business taking care of nobody here that have kids or <coughs> niece or a nephew. But you guys wouldn't know that, would you? We have absolutely, that's a direct violation. That book said if that widow or one of them had nieces or nephew or children, they are required to take care of them first so they can relieve the adult. You're going to let your kid be a dummy. Which means you'll never get sufficient. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's your future. I'm going to roll you behind right onto that wheel. I'm going to roll you right onto that old folk home. It's your future. I mean, you got to require it. They got to learn how to, the skill to take care of themselves. And then they got to be, be able to come back. And the book told them, the young, it told you you're supposed to requite your parents. Do y'all not know y'all got a debt to pay? Can we look up requite? See, this some. oh, here we go now. We don't talk about that either, do we? <coughs> we the only people, let me tell you something, we terrible people. We terrible people. You gonna help your kid transgress. Like a lot of y'all, you can't do nothing for your parents. Hmm? Yeah, but told you part of required. Let's see what it is. Required. Make appropriate return for a favor, service, or wrongdoing. You're in trouble. Y'all in trouble. You're supposed to make appropriate return for a favor, service, or wrongdoing. Well, when y'all gonna start that? When that pull to kick in? Hello? Hello? That's a lot going on. I guess everybody just quiet. People just thinking, huh? Man, blank my parent. <laughs> that's tight. That's, that's what it says. We <laughs> told y'all what y'all supposed to do. Y'all parents didn't do y'all no service? Y'all didn't do no wrongdoing to them? Y'all yes, parents didn't do y'all no favor? Yes, Both say you supposed to require them. Get that tight, huh? That's a whole nother animal in here, huh? I, just, I mean, I, I, know, listen, I know people got their own way in how y'all see things, but I tell y'all, that, that, that's kind of tight. Because my dad was living, I sure gave back to mine. I ain't pull that stuff talking about he wasn't in here, he wasn't no member. That had nothing to do with my daddy. He could have did that to me when I was a baby. I wasn't no member where he went either. <laughs> How that would have worked? I'm not just being that. I was no member. I was a baby. I wasn't member no church my daddy went to. <clears throat> I don't know, Smith, do you remember me being a, a member of the church you were, that you was a member of when I was a baby? You shouldn't have gave me nothing then. Just like how we do, ain't it? Let me, let me correct some stuff in here I kind of got, I think we kind of get kind of twisted on it. Some of it, it give us kind of, we get to lack some responsibility of things. Doing right to people what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. That's just being honest. You don't have to agree or consent. Now, I ain't giving my dad and my, 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 my I wouldn't give him no, no money by no bill or no food or like that. But I know how you're supposed to do things because that's just the right thing you're supposed to do. And a lot of things you do are going to come right back to you too, to your kids. That's just being honest. You know, a lot of stuff we, we didn't know ourselves just like our parents don't know. And I don't want y'all, you know, and I said something on the show about it for whatever reason it was. Because a lot of time I think we kind of hold things that give us an excuse not to, um, to do things right by people. Regardless of what their belief is, there's a, a level of respect that should be given to your parents. That's right. 
That's a level of care still should be done to a person regardless. And definitely making sure you come back and you give back. Somebody done took care of y'all those years. That's right. All that messing up and screwing up. How many of y'all didn't screw up when you was a kid? I know I went on that one, two. Didn't screw up when y'all was a kid. Are y'all serious? Y'all scared me to death. I seen it before I said. All I'm seeing is baby Jesus, baby Jesus. I like got all these little Jesuses in there. No. But no, but I'm just saying, think about this. I, I, I want to correct some things for us if I, if I said it, if I did. Um, <coughs> we still want to know how to treat people. Still know how to treat people. It's, it's, it's a, now, you don't have to agree. People do stuff. Or, or my mom in the daughter, or my dad in the daughter, or whatever. It's still a love of respect we get to them. We ain't got to consent. I ain't going to get you nothing on anniversary now. Y'all forget that now. I ain't taking no anniversary dinner. I'm not doing it because it's wrong. But it's still a level of things that you can do or respect you give to people, how you treat people. And some of us, it ain't even that the issue. We just like we just cut everybody off and we do things. Let me say so coming in the Chris, it put us we kinda had a run of trying to find our way. You cut everybody off that's not a member, don't do that. So let me ask, has anybody here gotten help from somebody before that wasn't like uh, in the Yahoo Dean? Anybody? Yes, sir. You shouldn't have took it. Cause you don't want to help nobody else. Let be fair now. Let be fair. That's all of us, include me. We shouldn't take it. So we want to start looking at how we want to treat and how we want to do people. Even Yahushua talked about, you know, when you bid things to people, don't do it to people that can pay you back. It's, not, it's easy to give people something that can give you something back. What about the ones that can't? Because you even look at Yahushua. Let me ask, how many of can pay him back for what he did that day? That's tight. He shouldn't have gave it to him. Think about it, though. Think about it. He lost bad. Let me get it straight. I can't. I'm going to talk for me now. But I that's all the time. I'm not able. Who in here can pay him back for what he did? And he still gave. Do you think he just found that out after he did it? You think he know that before he did? Or you think he said, mother blank. They done screwed me. They can't pay me. Y'all think he put in? When y'all think he found it? Later on? When he walk around, he was dripping. He's a part of nigga got me. When y'all think, I'm just saying, when you figure he knew this, been on it, before he did it, that's tight. So now we got to come along, we got to exemplify some of these behaviors. That, that's just being honest. We're going to come on, we're we going to start changing how we operate. <coughs> we, we don't, if people like home people, like I don't give people money, I don't buy, I don't want to buy no drugs, but I always do that. You want something to eat, I take it and get you something to eat. Mm -hmm. I take it, I feed you. They might not want, I'm going to get them, but I feed you. <laughs> I don't get what you want. I'm at home and got one time. My kid was at Piccadilly. That man, he said, buy me something to eat. I said, what? I said, I said, come on. I said, come on, we go ahead. He said, he said, I want some oxtail. <laughs> I said, I said, oxtail. I said, man, you see my kid. I said, I ain't buying them no oxtail. I said, you had oxtail before? He said, yeah. I said, it still take the same. I let the man know, they ain't changed. <laughs> like, you know, he said, ain't never had nothing. You kind of got me. But I said, you don't have, I said, they, ain't, they still take the same. <laughs> I took my about that man, he said, and you call, and call yourself Jeff coming from church. <laughs> that how you, oh, you He got me, I had that good fresh Jesus in me then. <laughs> I couldn't you know no word back then, man. Hey, so he did, he, yeah, he told me too, I, that, no, that hurt, he did. No, I couldn't believe he, he throw it, he, yeah, he hit me. You look, he ain't been no, he ain't been in nobody's church. He ain't even drove by a church. He ain't gonna tell me to call myself just coming from church. He was sitting right there in that little lobby, walking in to pick a dinner. He know who coming on Sunday. All them Holy Ghost feel for. And one of them gonna break down and get them oxtail. I might go sit right there on Sunday. If they still that time, I'm getting, give me some oxtail. <laughs> but, but you know, but we, we, we wanna learn how, to, and that's for other people that too, we wanna learn how to start doing things a little differently. We do, and, and it's a level of respect you give to people. Now, you got parent cuts, I cut the food, done some food. I ain't got to put up with that stuff, but I still know how we got to, it's a line. We just want to make sure we keep a line that where anything that go, it's on you, it ain't never on me. Don't let it be on you now. Because that book just told, that going to be tight, that required now. I try to get back to Ain Smith, because she showed, I told y'all, I told her, now my kid got a good mother, but I, I sure had me a great one. I know sometimes she might look at it, she made a mistake. You was a great mother though. I watched her grow and blossom. You you really were there. That later she was really there. She bagged me up too. She she really bagged me up. I like to I, I appreciate you whoever keeping around and being giving me a chance to get back to her. They got y'all y'all got a great mother, but I got I got me a beautiful. Y'all had a good one. 
That lady, that lady made her way. Yeah, my mama drove. My mama hit a bus. Whatever she had to do to get down, she gonna make her bend to get down. That make a difference. That's just being honest. Yeah, I appreciate it though. I could have got somebody else's mother or had no mother, but I, I, I really had a good one. I appreciate you for that too. Supported me too. Even starting out with this, she did. I remember she had a credit card. First cameras we got to start doing live streaming, she put that on her credit card. I remember that. She took her credit card. She she believed in me. <coughs> We ain't had nobody. I remember I started out that shit. She believed in me. And she could have put that out. I could have I could have fumbled all that up and got messed up with some sister, tangled up in me and some man done fell in love and ran off with a credit card. I just I mean thing go any kind of way. She believed in me. When I stepped out and I made my move to, to step out to do what I had to do, that tell you, I ain't turned back. I appreciate you who too. I mean, it might be a small thing for y'all. I appreciate you. A lot of folks try to turn me around now. A lot of folk. I remember we started out of my, in my living room over there. I went and rented me one of them little, little podium and stood in the corner of the wall right there. Had that little camera trying to set up. I did. I had my mind set up. I was going to get it out there. You heard Show Barack and he did. Look at it. Brought y'all in. We still got them fur cameras. They're somewhere around here. Yeah, the fur camera we started out. Don't look around, Ray. They're not in the room <laughs> right now. Ray, look around the camera like <laughs> <laughs> like the camera gonna say, hey, Ray. <laughs> but no, I mean, you know, he, he did. I, mean, I, I appreciate it, man. Why, well, too, they stuck behind me. My kids never had no choice, I'd have put them out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Had three of them with me, two of them stayed. Isn't that right? Everybody ain't gonna stay. Isn't that right? Is that two of them stayed? I appreciate you, though. And we kept pressing our way. Mm -hmm. So I just tell y'all, you know, learn how to treat folks and do with folks. You ain't got, don't help them drink and all that stuff and don't get no cigarette, but you still give your respect to where respect is. Just make sure you undone your part. After that, listen, everybody else responsible for themselves. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, listen, everybody responsible for themselves. You just wanna make sure you've done right on your end. I tell some of our folks sometimes, how you doing? Check on them. Ask, make sure you check. I'm telling you, now you're losing them. They be the worst thing sometimes and make you just as mad as you want to be. Where do you leave them? Tell them they're seeing they lose them. Chris, your mama gone, tell them, make a difference, don't it? Yes, sir. For those, those, those y'all ain't lost them, make a difference they gone. Be sitting right there. I would have taught, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. You lose, you lost one, you know it. There was some things, I'm sure sometimes you hated your mother, didn't it? Hated some decisions. Come on, come on, big man, it takes too long. Because I know it don't take that long. No, no. That was the time. <laughs> you, you read that book. <laughs> Where's that? Why you get him for you read it? Put a nothing up there. Now what happened? What you were saying about her? What she doing? She was spoiled. <laughs> what about you, Karen? <laughs> she ain't, oh, she was what? Keisha. You going along with them? <laughs> Kids are she's not going along with them. Kev, you want to spoil? <laughs> Keisha, you were too grown. Since you was a baby, <laughs> since you came out in that cab. <laughs> I still ain't buying it, girl. <clears throat> Let me get this straight. Y'all going along with, typically where you born at, what that mean? That's where you born. That's where you came out and stuff at. So if you come out in the cab, what hospital that is? A cab. Care where you first slung out at? In the apartment. Was that greater home apartment? Was that greater capital apartment? Was that greater hospital apartment? The greater hospital ambulance. Heck, Kerry, you were already hanging and dangling. <laughs> when you come out, they put that, how many of y'all know they put that little skull cap on your head? When they do that at your home and the billica card gone, you born at the hospital? <laughs> huh? You been born. Ken, Ken, you from here, Ken, what hospital you born at? Uh, Southern You couldn't help that, Southern <laughs> That's out 1941. Correct. Yeah, I remember that. I seen it before. It ain't great if it, it'll work out. Grady, how many of y'all born at Grady? <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> Can we just talk about this? <laughs> he 
You know, he can't help they got there late. So you count the ambulance, but was you out? Did you get out in the ambulance or you got out in the apartment and then you got in it? Carrie, let me tell you something. Let me, let me borrow you for a second. Let me just borrow you for a second. Come here, guys. You born, right? You born. Let me borrow you for a second. Huh. Let me do it. Let me say. And your mama walk you out to the hop, walk you to the ambulance like this. <laughs> you born at the hospital. That's all I'm asking. Are you can you say you born at the hospital? No. Yes, sir. You tripping, man. Demonstration over. When your mama don't take your little finger and you hold their finger and you go and you go to the you still born at Grady? <clears throat> Kim, you had been to pre-K before you went to the hospital. I don't know what's going on. I, I'm, I'm so confused. Kim, you got to teach her with me. No, no, no. So, so we, we saw it quiet. We're we going to try to move on. Also, try to get um, Bob another shirt. That's a white boy shirt. That one on this shirt right there. You know, it fit him funny. You know what I'm saying? He tried to got a slight black beard, tried to put a white boy shirt that don't mix on that right. Get him one of them checkered shirts with the buttons and all. A bunch of straight where it confuse your eyes or something like that. There you go. Uh, so we're going we gonna to go on back over and look at 15 and 4. Mm. <clears throat> For whatever was written before was written to teach us. My young people? Show, show who? The show explains somebody how to do something. And you, who, who, is, who, is, who is someone? Us. Us. This, this is written to teach us. We the someone. This is written to teach us. I need y'all to care. I want y'all to catch on as you read. So that? Through endurance. You trying to see how fast you can say it? <laughs> y'all, y'all think it's a contest on how fast y'all can say it? I just rather see how well you can uh, obey it. Yeah. Don't try to make it your, your your goal to try to see you can the faster one and shoot something out. Make sure you the one that can follow and obey it. Y'all got it? It's not always even to see the race not given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. Not even the richest the men are understanding. You know how you get it? Do it to the end. Time and chance. He said, "Happen to them all." Time and chance. Y'all remember that? I don't care how fast you run, I don't care how smart you think y'all, time and chance. You can forget, you can't get it that quick. Time and chance. That's why you start to realize, you start to consider Mr. Yahuwah. The way we think about it, you say, if I train, if I keep working at it, I can be better than others. He said, no, time and chance. He'll let you get very smart, he'll let you get very fast, and you'll <coughs> lose just to show you. He'll do that just to show you. You know what I mean? People been beat by somebody that really went faster than them. You ain't gonna believe it. It's just time and chance. Mm-hmm. Now, in time, people been beat out on something and people weren't smarter than them. Mm-hmm. Time and chance. Now, they ain't giving you an excuse to be stupid or illiterate. It's just letting you know with everything you do, always consider is one person that wheels. Y'all got it? Somebody gonna ask you gonna do something? I want y'all to start trying to remember to say, if you who a wheel. I used to then think about it like that, if you who a wheel. That's the only way you can do it if you who a wheel. Because right. if it's not a will, you're not going to be able to do it. And sometimes, like, you remember I told you about when I wanted, I wanted to sing that song? I was at working. I turned, I, I said, let me turn to the east. I didn't listen. I was genuine too. And I got back. He said, ain't nothing changed. <laughs> ain't nothing changed. He let me know. Listen, you had to understand. Because what I would have confused that whatever I ask you, you'll just do it. He said, no, I want you to understand will. That's not my will. And I want you to accept it. And, that's, and I had to, he wanted, they gave me a chance to grow. I had to accept versus, why not though? I was going to do it for you. That's why I want to show you what kind of person you were. Mm-hmm. You're not a person, a lot of us in him, you don't know why things happen, do you? Because he wants you to understand what his will is. Mm-hmm. Hello? What his will is. Y'all got it? I tell you, uh, Rashan, his will or what he wants. Y'all got it? Yes, These are things you want to kind of look at what he wants. What's his will? Y'all got it? Yes, sir. A lot of times we don't submit to that. Think about it. Every time you pray, you, you ain't going to believe it. You always asking what you want. You ain't never asked what's in his will. I want to be happy. I want to be well. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be, I want to, want to, want to. I want to. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Tell the rider. When you pray, you be like, where that come? Tell the rider. Yep, yep, yep. So you do it. Now I want to ask that. Did you ever <clears> ask, <throat> ask is it his will? Hello? 
These are things we are learning to consider. Is it his will? Because a lot of times, let me tell you why things don't work for us too. He'll let us go ahead, even though you do something. You say, it must be his will because he allowed me to do it. No, I let you do it because I'm going to show you. You should have asked me what my will was. That's why it's going to hurt you. See, a lot of times you don't consider it. We don't. You just think because you're giving you something, it's got to be what he wanted. It could, yeah, I want you to fall because you didn't do what I want you to do. You never asked me. Hello? Yes, sir. Remember when he told you about the Nabi, that Bima? He said, I, I have not sent them. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. What did they do? They ran. He said, I did not shalak them. They ran. Mm -hmm. He said, I had not spoken to them. They Nabua. He said, had they, but had they stood in my council. And cause the people to hear my word. Isn't that right? Then I would have turned them. Nobody even looked. Nobody asked. They just went and said, Thus said you who? <laughs> he said, He said, When I hadn't done that. That's, and we'll start proclaiming things in his shim too. It, it, it's where we're at now. We're coming back to make some adjustments, to look at how we've done things. And, and, and that's where you get your improvements at. Just like I told my young people, when you see that the system works that you use, don't just get yourself too subtle. It worked, but I always look at leaving room where you can come in and you can tweak it. Just like you did. You were doing good for four days, right? <clears throat> so you just look at where you need to tweak it. There's always the unexpected. I don't expect, I don't expect y'all guys to catch it every time. I believe that eventually you'll get better. That's my, y'all want the truth? No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't put, I won't put nothing on y'all for failure. I, I never set you up for failure. I'm gonna set you up and tell you the truth. The better you get with this, the better you're going to see how you're going to deal with opposition. That's how I do it. How do you think I've been doing it for 27 years? You learn, you adjust, you go back. You reassess. You redirect. That's what you do. What I'm telling y'all is what I do. I was talking to somebody um, about uh, some things that I do. And I try to tell y'all what I do, but you ain't going to do it. But that's, that's fine. Um, I guess it comes down to who you feed the most. You know, how many people had, how many people know about put, had a dog, had puppies? Stop it. All y'all had dog puppies? Let me see my hands again. That's a lot. Okay. I got, know how many pins I got. Cause we, we're not playing this. No, I'm just watching. I know good well. All these comes, I ain't never heard these for, I heard these for, I hate dog too, preachers. All of a sudden, everybody had dog and they were selling puppies. When we ever had it, we ain't even yeah, I used to sell a puppy. We had a kennel. I mean, that's where we at now, leave with all the stuff. These folks not saying. All I seen, we had a kennel. My granddaddy started Pet Smart. <laughs> y'all, woo, y'all people too much for me. So, with all that, I mean, that's a lot. Pet Smart? That's a lot. So, um, how, many, um, how many puppies, anybody remember how many puppies sometimes they dog might have or they dog had? That's a lot. How many? 10 to 12. 10 to 12. You mean that smaller one? What you call it? The runt. Now, what tip it have with the runt? It really died. You know why it died? Couldn't get no food. You ain't gonna believe it. What you don't feed gonna die. You know what? A lot of y'all not strong in what you're doing. You're a runt. You're a runt. You ain't been getting nothing. That's what happened to the runt. The runt ain't feed. It's what you feed. That's what's gonna get strong. That's what's gonna live. What you don't feed gonna die. So we're gonna work something a little different. The reason why your physical man is stronger than your Ruach man, you ain't gonna believe why. That's right, your spiritual man will run. Your Ruach and the man is a run. That's why you faint. That's why you, that's why you get in the situation that you're trying to figure out how a preacher do it. Preacher, this is what I'm gonna get with y'all. I'm eating the same thing you eat. I don't have nothing different. I don't know what y'all thinking. I really don't. So when I watch y'all, I'm faint, I'm here, I'm there. What you think I'll be looking at? It'd be different. I got a secret plate of something I'm eating. I'm eating this. This is what I'm living by. So I'm very confused when I watch y'all guys do stuff. So it tells me you really ain't eating. You, the man you feed is the physical man. And that physical man is taken away from the rotten man. You got to look which one you're going to feed. You're putting more time into the physical man. You don't realize there's a balance. There is a balance to what you got to do. <coughs> y'all got it? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm just trying to help y'all out. We're finished. So this, this, this is why right here is your problem. You faint. You say, well, I ain't faint. I'm still coming, but you're not participating. You faint it. Because you really didn't pay attention when I was trying to show you something. 
when I was trying to direct you and instruct you, you're the someone, you're the us. And you missed that. Because you're too busy to worry about your physical man. And so when you got here and you ain't going to believe what you've done, you fainted. You gave up on what you came here for. You really, a lot of y'all not see, you just really, you come here out of memory. It get, I thought you learned to do something out of why, you could do it. How many of y'all had gym memberships before and dropped them? You know your hardest day was when you first started going? Then after a while, it became routine. <clears throat> but after a while, your routine, you forgot what you were doing it for. And after a while, you start missing, you start dropping off, and you quit. You do the same thing here. Because it's another man got to be fed. And you know what happened? Then you start back gaining weight. You start back losing energy. You start losing performance. You start losing will. You ain't going to believe it. That's what you do here. Because of the other man being fed. How many of y'all stopped going to the gym and you got healthier and you got smaller and trimmer? Don't make sense. Because that man wasn't being taken care of. Okay. That makes sense. Yes, I'm just trying to help y'all out. So guess what happened? Here, you faint. It's a lot of y'all, what y'all do, y'all listen to me, but in your mind, you already <coughs> tune me out. You don't even know I know that, do you? Yeah, you tune me out. You learn how to uh, hear what you want to hear. Because you look at it for your benefit, but you don't realize this. This is this, this what I look at right here. How well are you doing with that? Because if I'm not doing well, I'm the type of person, I ain't going to be doing that. That's not something I'm going to do because it ain't beneficial. I got to look at financially. I got to look at health-wise. I got to look at Ruachni. There are a lot of things I got to win. I got to compare. So if I'm not doing well doing that, then I'm trying to think, why would I keep doing it? Then when you're looking for growth, usually it's going to come with change. Growth is going to usually come with change. A lot of y'all, this is what you do. You're in the same position asking for change. I don't get it. How's that going to happen? Hello? People look at plants. How many of y'all have plants at home? Plants. Right? You ever notice your plant, when you see your plant might, maybe might, periodically you might see your plant might start to wither or change, and you start looking at things you do, or you might move the plant. You might notice a blockage or hindrance or see where it needs to sit somewhere so it can flourish. Why you ain't got that kind of sense with yourself? To see where you're sitting that you're not flourishing. Hello? So let me ask you a question. <clears throat> when you, who have made everything, for whatever reason, he didn't make it a dog, he put it in the, or in the light. And he put it just so how many could deem in the east where the Shamash ride first, make sure it got enough sunlight. He, he basically positioned it in a place to where it flourished. All he needed was a man to keep it, to dress it. That's all he needed. And it's amazing that we don't go back and look at why things not working for us. Why are we not productive? It's probably some, some other stuff you probably could think about and kind of put your mind on. I, I like to consider things, and I like to test it against this. Can I say that hasn't all, I can say that has not always been what I've done, but I come into the understanding based off of how things have gone to consider that you're trying to build a Ruachni relationship, <clears throat> okay? Then it's gonna have to be based off of what, probably? A Ruachni relationship. Something they're gonna be based off of. The Ruach. What magazine can you get that from? What movie? What documentary? Did it come back right here? That's what he told us, seek ye out of the, the book of Yahuwah and read, no one of these shall fail. That's what he told us. He said, seek ye out of the book. Seek ye out of Sephora Alahim. He said, no one of these shall fail. So let me ask y'all a question. Why are you failing? Interesting. Let's say, so we're talking about not think, we're not, because we read, do we read this the first time we read it? So I'm curious, why, so why are you faint? Why do you faint? You know what he tells you if you faint a day of adversity? Strength is small. <laughs> That's it. Your strength is small. Y'all see that? And through the nakum, the reward. I always gotta, I always gotta weigh the challenges against the reward. Cause I'm a man. I know what I do. I know what I do to somebody here too. So I look at, I gotta look at that reward. 
Because some way you'll go, it'll be just like quitting because you went the wrong way. Quitting ain't always you just stopping. Quitting sometimes because you took another directive. Sometimes we thought, I ain't quit. I ain't quit. Nigga, I ain't no quitter. I ain't no. That's your mouth talking, but your actions quit. Because I'm not doing his work. How, how many of y'all thought about it that way? How many of y'all thought, how many of y'all felt like, well, they don't raise your hand. And on the street, you probably felt like you hadn't quit because you're still here. You have quit. Because you're doing something different. One counsel, one, one, one behavior, one direction. So you have quit. In your mind, you're saying you quit because I'm still coming because I ain't quit. You're right. You hadn't quit. You hadn't quit doing what you want to do. Hello? So a lot, I think we've been faked out with the fact that we've been trying to tell ourselves we ain't quit because we showing up or we still watching. You quit. You quit. But in your mind, because you have a way of convincing yourself <laughs> that you're still going and you aren't, and you actually not. So that's why you got to really sit down and consider what mindset you have. Hello? I'm, I'm okay. Some of y'all, this, this speaking to you. Whether you believe it or not, because you can get out of your mind, because that's why you're not a participant. That's why you kind of follow away to say you do. Because you quit. You've been quit. Um, this is a, a way you go just when you feel like it. Um, <clears throat> it's a conditioning. It's an understanding you got to have about it. Because it's a learning. With everything you do, it's a learning. And that's the reason why. Um, I want to start um, moving into the conversation more of if you're who are will. If you're who are will. Um, <sighs> I think we've gotten comfortable with um, just assuming and because we, we have things to go a certain way for a period of time, we feel as though that's the way things should go, and we're sadly mistaken. Time is a factor for you, not for him. Time is a factor for you, not for him. You keep, I mean, it's kind of hard when you're dealing with a man when one of his days is a thousand years. You know what I'm saying? A day for you is 24. You know what you're saying? Ain't enough hours in a day. He look at a thousand years, that's just one you. You kind of count his math and just look at it. It's almost practical to look at him really, you know, in like 7,000 years, him sitting down and just resting. Just based on what he showed you in Barry's sheet. On the seven yun, he said he just rested. He said from all his labor. It just made sense that man to come up to an end and count seven and just say, that's enough for me, I'm resting. This stuff is over with. It's up his Malkuth and just look at it. It's Shabbat for him. Think about it. He said we're going to be in his Malkuth. That was yes, Yeshusha would say. He said we're going to eat and drink. Anytime we eat and drink, that's a muhat. That's right. And the first muhat we ever had, that's Shabbat. Yeah. Every other muhat been predicated off of that. That's right. It just makes sense that he's going to take us in his Malkuth because that would be a completion for him. Just, I mean, it would make sense if he's telling you that one day, one of his days is a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. And seeing how he works, he rests on Shabbat from all his labor. What, so when we get to Malkut, what other work he say he's going to be doing? Hmm. But these folks done told us we already, what, what, what the dinosaur went him, what, 50 million years ago? <laughs> 50 million, then we had to freeze over. I don't know, times definitely should have froze one about him. The whole world froze over. And we just thawed out and, it, and the clock was still running. Who put them batteries in now? Sundial, Ahar. They didn't get Ahar's <coughs> clock to even by that time. Where are these folks getting this stuff from? I mean, the time, the time span these people give just makes absolutely no sense. But that, that's just me. I, I, a lot of this stuff, I, I don't pay them a whole lot of attention. I don't, I don't listen to a whole lot of this space stuff these people going. I know a lot of y'all, you going up down. And I want to pay for you to go too. <laughs> I want you to go. I want you to go. When you fall back down here, I'm going to slap your face. <laughs> I'm going to slap your face. I remember that lady one time, man. We have, um, man, my wife, she might remember. We was up down uh, Turner Hill and Covenant Highway. And uh, where that QTA, it wasn't QTA, there was another gas station. 
that train track sitting there. That lady, she was trying to cross that train track. I was looking up that track. I, I seen that train coming. And they stuck, and them cars went moving because the light was red. So they weren't, they were, she was blowing, trying to go. And I was looking. I looked. I said, this is going to be bad. I said, that thing is a, whoa, 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 wham. That thing knocked the car around. That train kept going down there. That train cleared all the way to the left, and she was down there. That car was smoking. I was just standing in the car. I was just looking. People got their car. They ran on them. They got up. They finally got that car. I was, didn't let me move. I was froze. I just couldn't believe what I just saw. You know what I'm saying? And they brought out. They had her on the lid. They taken them. They laid on the ground. And her shirt was open. Them folks were standing around. And one guy just walked up. He just moved me. He got beat. He said, BOOM! <laughs> he slapped me. I was standing across the aisle just looking. Man, her titty said, Scott, Scott. He hit him. He said, BOOM! He slapped again. Listen, every time he saw her titty, I was just frosted. Maybe this is some kind of technique. He went and said, somebody said, hold, hold, somebody stopped him. He just walked on out. He just left. I said, it messed me up so bad. Because, I mean, I was figuring, was this some kind of CPR thing he was doing? I was still messed up off the train thing. You know what I'm saying? Because it hit. I'm just sitting here. I can't. I'm just standing the car and looking because I seen it. I said, I said, that thing, and that train killed. I'm telling you, it was bad, too. He said, man, this is man. Them is her titties. I know that much. <laughs> I know them as her. Man, they hit that side and came out. <laughs> if you're happy and you know, clap your hand. That's what I said. So listen, man. That, by that third, that guy got it. Somebody, he, I got here had another. Me, I actually was just suspended in time because I'm, I'm just throwing. I'm trying to figure out what in the world is that? So I got, he was pretty pissed about that. <laughs> you know, because she messed traffic up. But people couldn't go nowhere. He must have been one of the, but I know when they stopped him, he just, just started walking on out down the street. They might get his number. They might get his name or nothing. I he was just pissed, looking like you just messed up traffic. Y'all get back. And he slapped about two good. I'm telling you, he laid in two or two. So when she looking at, she from that train. My jaw hurt. That was that other. That was that second wreck. So that's what we just trying to make sure. We just consider, that's all. So we want to go through here and, and consider the prize over what you're going through. This is what I want y'all to consider. When you're getting correction, when things are happening, things are coming to you, consider the reward. Why else are you doing it? Consider the reward. A lot of times, if you don't consider the reward and you keep your mind just on the labor, you'll quit. I would have gave up a long time ago. Man, listen, bro. But I took a lot of losses. I ain't just telling I'm talking about over the year, I have took a lot of losses. If it wasn't for the reward, I'd have quit. I'd have quit. I mean, as a business man, you, you, you just can't function with no many losses. You just can't do it, not business-wise. It's just not intelligent. I would never took it in the street. But when you consider, you had to look at the reward. Now, I'll be honest with you, though I desired the award, it was kind of dense, kind of foggy, kind of seeing it. Because, you know, when you, I'm telling you something, when you're going through, that reward looked kind of, Bleak. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like your eyes squeak because you think about as a as a person, as a man, what you're dealing with at that time is more overwhelming a lot of time than the reward. But you you gotta keep your mind constant on the reward. That there's a reward at the end. I'm saying that's the only way you can do this. I'm gonna help y'all out. I'm, I'm being honest with you. Some of y'all ain't even got your eye on the prize. That's the first thing. I mean, at the end of the day, this has got to be salvation for you. That salvation got to be the first thing. What do you think going to keep y'all young ladies or keep y'all women, married women, where you stay subjected to your husband? And why you get out of the way? Because you don't see the reward. You take your eyes off for it to look at self, mm -hmm. to look at what you got to get done and what you got to do and what you, how you feel. And a woman is different and a woman is. So he didn't know that when he made you. So when he made you, because you made yourself, and then he like, oh, blank, I ain't even realize a woman different. That women made up. That he had. He probably thinking that now. Man, he consider. You know what I'm saying? Cause men from Mars and women from Venus. How that work when he made both of them in the gun and the woman can? See, you are buying to these stupid books. I was talking to somebody earlier about these books. I don't read this stuff. One, I can't read. Two, I ain't gonna read it. It did thick. You got another suck you need to look for. I ain't interested. You want me to read it? You better get a pamphlet. I'm like Uncle Rucker. Get me a pamphlet. All that stuff, and let's get a summary. 
I got time to read all that stuff, trying to memorize that stuff. Say, a lot of y'all, I know y'all, a lot of y'all, every reader. That beautiful, too. All that beautiful. How you living? That's right. I'm just, I know. I, I just love books, audio books, and all that. How about this one here? That's right. Most of y'all can't remember. I, this was scary. <clears throat> y'all read all these books and audio books. I read him. I come back, a couple minutes. I said, How many I remember why we, how many y'all forgot why we were here? You can name every book you done read and summarize the book. And you can't remember this, this will scare you. Then to show you, look at where you are. Look at where you are as a total person because you will put more of your time into trying to construct yourself with these people out here than you do with all of him. Let me tell you something. I would, I would, I would really love to just really stop everything I'm doing and just focus my time and do this. I would like to be able to do that. But unfortunately, y'all ain't going to let me do that. That's not going to happen. And that's fine, because I do what I got to do. It just, I just look at it, you just got to do what you got to do in a way, because it's more expedient for us to be proficient with this than with other things. But you got to have people minded. You really have to have people minded to want to see themselves root out. And a lot of y'all don't, a lot of y'all, y'all root out so bad, it's terrible. You know, it's your aura you give out. It's like, ooh, it stinks. It's terrible. And most of you, I can already tell most of y'all fail when you're living in. I can tell way, it's the way you greet, the way you do stuff. I already know you're terrible. But I just got to keep going because you got to You think I'm stupid. I ain't stupid. I know what you're doing. I know where you're at. So I you can't think I'm that stupid. I know where I'm at. You think I don't know where you're at. Wow, go figure. So I already know you ain't doing what you need to do. And you're already in a bad position already. You're not even considering why you're here. If you focus yourself to make sure you get what you came for first, the rest of it will come. Why he told you to seek you first in Mount Cooper, Elohim? And, and all these. <sighs> That's what we got to start doing first. I'm just being honest with y'all. This man offered us a lot, but we've given a little. We've given very little. We don't stay consistent. We're not studious about it. So all these things, we got to really set mind up the reward, and that reward is where we're going to get it from. Oh, the kid to being. From the writings. That's how important the writings is that we're not going to get them from no audio books. We don't get them from nowhere else and no document. I, it's movies I watch too. I watch stuff too. But I guarantee I know where I put my time in at. That's right. Man, that, listen, man, you got to put your time on <coughs> meditation. It ain't just for no 10 or 15 minutes. You got to have that mindset on all day. You got to keep it. You know why you keep me in Shalom? Mind stayed on it. Because I do 15 minute, 10 minute meditation. You got to keep your mind stayed on it. You gotta keep your mind stayed. I try to get y'all. I try to get y'all. Try to give you an example of what you need to do. My mind stayed on them. Man, y'all to figure what y'all get to pull out three times a day. You think that's on time I'm praying? Man, please. I got a country. I saw Robert said he. I said I appreciate it. I said it just like the book said. He said and to be not without understanding his own country, his own time. He said, y'all was thinking, he said, he said, no, Rob. He said, man, I'm sleep. That man pull out. I wake up. He got, he said, that man up praying. Y'all see my times? Sometimes I get out of the other one later because I've been already Palau. I said, get back up. They ain't going to believe it. So I just lay down and just wait. So give them a time they get up. I be Palau and be sending up somebody Jeff Palau. I'm from Layla Palau. <coughs> it's 7 o'clock in the morning. I said, hey, man. I was like, this was late. This was Layla Palau. They belong. I mean, they two Palau behind. <laughs> But I mean, they, but they just let you, but y'all, this, but you know what, he had to put you on somebody's log. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you sleep, he got to put you on something. Somebody got to stay up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That man, that man, somebody got to do it. I'm telling you, he told, he said, man, he said, I get him up B time. Yeah. That, see, all that, that book, that ain't me. It don't make sense. How, that don't make sense. He ain't got hit man laying around all the time and night sleep all, man, I was sleeping 24 hours. Man, you, no, he said, he said, that joke, he said, that joke don't belong to me. That's somebody else. He said, no. <clears throat> that man got to get up. That man got to be polite. Man, you the one fooling around. Somebody got to stay up. Somebody got to be watching. Hello, that's just being honest. Mm -hmm. He told you, he that watch over y'all's raw. He don't slumber or sleep. He get me up for some hours and make me, he got somebody else he getting up. That ain't just, man, he got people, listen, he keeps somebody up. Somebody got to stay up. Somebody got to stay up watching. That's what they call a shoma. Look at that, S-H-O-M-E-R, how they spell it. S-H-O-M-E-R, shoma. That's somebody watching. That's 
what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing. We watch them. At the end of the day, that, that stuff you don't think about, someone got to be watching. Hello? Hey, you should have told them. He told them to watch it well and pull out, didn't he? So they never, they just couldn't be there. They got to be watching and pull out. They got to be doing it. They got to be looking out. Man, there's always something going on. Y'all take stuff for granted. Y'all watch, man, a new story be coming through so many. I said, that just be a couple of new people. It's stuff going on you don't even know about. Yeah. Every time you look around, some exploding, some blowing up, some on fire, some mm -hmm. shooting. You know what I'm saying? Every every time you look around, something going on. And I know my mom. I said they doing something. I know they doing something. You gotta be. I'm trying to tell you. Listen, I'm trying to tell you. Be like Aharon said. You know, he, I, I take what he told me. He said, you know, them people said on mischief. He done already warned me about y'all. He told Musha. He said, you know, them people said on mischief. Don't you be crazy. Them folks will get you moving. Y'all ain't moving me, though. Y'all made no mistake. That stuff don't move me. Y'all ain't moving me. I got my feet planted. Y'all got me? Yes, that, that stuff don't move me now. No stupid look. Whatever you want to do, that stuff don't move me now. One time, I'm preaching the same thing. That's right. That's right. At the end of the day, he done set my feet on the rock. I'm not finna move. I know it's right. Y'all got it. It's right to live right. That's, That's just right. behind it. It's time for us to sit down and consider. Young people, read why I take that time out of job. You whoever do that. <clears throat> man, we came up. These folks tell you, what, what, what church y'all came with them folks spend that much time with these kids? When? Man, I'm give a flying flip about no kid. Tell them kids get somewhere and shut up. Give them, go, sit down, go somewhere in color. Yeah, right. Go, let them go get them one little color book with little G's and stuff in there with a cross in it. Folks don't care about your soul, man. I'm trying to tell y'all now. He told you to remember in the days of your you. That's right. Man, that's some Russia. It's some evil day coming on y'all young people. Y'all don't really, it's something coming. Man, y'all in a school. Y'all don't know when them folk coming and start shooting. Oh, no metal detect the pretty. Because that means they can't bring them inside. I'll wait till you come out. That's how dumb the school system is. The only time I can shoot you is inside the school. I can wait. They just had one in Atlanta, parking lot. Then all they do is just give them another option. <laughs> That's all they give these kids, another option. That's why I need y'all to be focused. And y'all realize when you go there, ain't but one person keep you. That's right. Ain't but one person watching. And I tell you, a lot of y'all parents, y'all don't realize it's just a matter of time. You can get one of them calls. It could be your kid. Your kid ain't got to be at school. Y'all hear me? There's a lot going on, man. There's a lot of stuff we take for granted. Y'all better consider. Everybody, you better consider. This man is on the move. Y'all got it? Yes, so we, we try to say that because we want to make sure that we, we really consider the thing for what it is. Let's look at something right quick. Let's look at the eighth chapter of the book of Romans. Let's see, what, <laughs> let's see where you go with this right quick. Romans 8. Eight and one. Listen. Romans eight and one. Yes, sir. All right, listen. There is then now no condemnation for those. That's a lot of words to say nothing. There is then now. now. Uh, there is now <laughs> no condemnation. Let's see what that condemnation is. Can we look up condemnation? Try to put that condemn. The expression of a very strong disapproval. Y'all gotta understand that, young people. That's what condemnation. Sometimes people say you can do it with a look. So why you look at me with that condemnation? Why you look at me with this? the expression of a very strong <clears throat> disapproval. Now we look at how Yahuwah does it, okay? Let's look at seven, let's look at six and 23, same book, Romans. Let's see, let's see expression. Matter of fact, let's look up expression then, or either one. We go either way, or you do it, however you want to do it. We'll come back and let's look at expression. Expression. The process of making known one's thoughts or feelings. This is what we want to know. Yahuwah has an expression. So we want to know how exactly does he do that. I like looking at these words. Don't y'all like that? So now what we're looking at. The 
as an expression. Let's see this six and twenty, six and twenty-three. Oh, let's see. You put. Let's see what twenty-two says. Since you put it up now, twenty-two. All right, listen. But now that you have been freed from the hands of Qatar and become Abedim to Allahim, you have your pari resulting in Kodash, uh -huh. and so, your end is Alam Kai. So I got that myself. So, but now, <coughs> presently, that you have been freed from the hands of Qatar. What we'll use for this for an example, amen, hands. What we do to understand that? What situation? What process? Yes, sir. Miss Raheem. Think about it. They were freed. So, but now that you have been freed, if you've been freed, don't that, come on, what go with being freed? Captivity. Huh? Captivity. Isn't that right? Something's holding you. If you've been free, isn't that right? Something's holding you. So they understood that. They go back through their history. Don't forget, whatever was written the fourth time, what was it written for? Uh -huh. So I just told them, now you've been freed from the hands of? Qatar. And they will understand that. Who knows why they will understand their hands? Based off Ms. Raheem. Who knows why? <clears throat> that they were delivered from sin. Okay. Damn, hold on, damn, do that. Damn, this your second service. <laughs> That's a moment. You, you feeling good? Because Pharaoh wouldn't say, sir. That was exactly what I want you to come put that check up here for. Come on, Pam. What you got for me? That's all right. You make your welcome home. <laughs> Sweet home, check the board. Dun -dun 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 -dun. What you got, Karen? That's right. He told him, just for the record, you kind of similar in what you were saying, but how they would have really understood that is the 18th chapter of the book of, um, they call it Leviticus, uh, Uyakra. And he called in the 18th chapter, he told them that they, they wouldn't be doing the doings that they did in Misraim. In Misraim, you could sleep with your aunt. And Miss Ryan, he let them know. So guess what they learned? If I told you, you won't be doing it anymore. Man, that stuff was sin. They learned that that was sin. So I know you look at them just being free from the hands of, but they understood it. But my, let's look and say, how about that? 18th chapter book of Uyakra. And it, and it's a beautiful way that you get to look up stuff. Listen, stop just, I, don't, I want us, well, I don't want, no, no, I don't. He want us to stop just reading things and taking surface of things. It's a deeper meaning context when they knew this. It's a deeper context, 18th chapter, 18th chapter of the book of U Yakra. U Yakra. <clears throat> oh, they might have it as just Yakra. I don't know. All right, listen. Then Yahuwah spoke to Musha, saying, mm -hmm. Speak to the Bani of Yasharal and say to them, I am Yahuwah, your all. Think about this. You, you know what? People now they don't really take it. People do more in, I guess, on a false religion more than they do in the mind. That those people understood whenever they came and spoke to them, you ain't gonna believe it. Yahuwah sent you. Look how everything start off. You don't hear that now. Mm -hmm. he instructed Yahushua instructed the uh, his Talmudin, his Shalakim, the sent one they call the apostle. So when they spoke up, we already supposed to know this practice. Why would they be speaking unless he spoke to them? Then Yahuwah told them. He said, speak to the Benim of Yashara. You think, hold on for a minute. Is this the man Musha or Musha or is this Yahuwah? They already knew if he came and spoke to him, they were Yahuwah. Yeah. Why else would he have came and spoke? That's how people played him when he said, I hadn't sent him. Because right. people, if you said, does say Yahuwah, why wouldn't he have, why would you say that if he hadn't said it? Right. Why would you come if he hadn't sent you? Right. So these people looked at, this became a practice. So guess what? Other people are always watching. That's why y'all get moved, y'all find them people that had them inscription on their clothes and hat. Y'all love to put them on your stuff too. Y'all do know it don't move me, right? It don't move me. I don't pay that stuff no time I said stuff on people's clothes. I don't be looking at let me figure out, is that the ancient? I don't pay that, that's their clothes. I ain't got time to be reading people's clothes. They ain't be saying, if you gay, read this. See, now you're messed up. Now you talking about, am I gay? And now you, what did it say? It said I was gay. <laughs> Man, I don't be having time to read everybody's clothes, man. I, I'm telling you, that, that stuff move you. I don't be looking around the time. Hold on, y'all don't stop. Y'all see it run their clothes. That stuff don't, I don't pay that no attention. So that stuff be Chinese. I said, man, I, I don't, I'm just, man, I'm just not moving a lot of stuff. I, no, please don't think I'm saying that you're wrong. Put on, 
But you mix in with other folks. These folks will do a lot of throwing around letters and putting stuff together. But I want to see behavior. Watch behavior now. I told you, I played basketball a lot of years. I seen a lot of guys come to the court with them 23 shoes and the jerseys and the shorts now. Sock roll down. I seen the tongue hang out and everything. I said, man, you need to get your refund. I'd have never spent that much money on that stuff. Especially I'd have bought all that to play on no court. That stuff you're going to wear out in the street when you're young. Not on no court to get it musty. So somebody will pick you. You already know when you see that, I'm like, don't pick them. Do not pick them. Look what he told you. You shall not do according to the doings of the Arats of Ms. Ryan. See, hold on for a minute. What was wrong in Ms. Ryan? I mean, hold on. I just, hold on. What, what's wrong with Ms. Ryan? I was, I was just there. What's wrong with Ms. Ryan? Go ahead. In which you lived in it. And Tell you me, where I used to stay at? Yes, sir. What happened? And you should not do according to the doings of the Arats of Canaan, where I'm bringing you there. You ain't going to believe it. You weren't supposed to do the doings of where you came out, and you weren't supposed to do the doings of where you're going. That's right. Them folk where you came from were wrong, and where you're going, people wrong. Right. Now, who you going to use for your simulation? Hands. Hands. Hands, 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 hands. Let me go. Who you got? Abraham. Good answer, because that's exactly the one I didn't want. What you got? Our moose. Tell him about our moose. That's why I don't know why you even said that. He's going to say our moose didn't get check him. And all right, come on, moose. Put this check up here. He can't remember our moose. I remember the camel. It's hump day. Guess what day it is? Isn't that right? Come on, put that check up here. Y'all guys are wrong. Y'all know what? If I had a script, y'all guys will mess me up in here, man. I'd be like, we went over there practicing. This is the right answer. You say the answer. All off script. What you, how you gonna holler? All moves. What our moves did? I can't remember. You want to quote it right? What say? He leaned up against the wall and got bit by a snake. Lean up and put a check up. Lean up. No, I want you <laughs> lean up against that wall before you put that on. Lean up against it. No, no, no. You, don't mess up. Put your hand up on that. And then put your check up there. I want you to lean. No, no. Lean while you put it on now. Yeah, ain't that right? All moose. And I don't mean all moose you. They're burning them, ain't that right? They don't know about that. That man, Big Lee, we do that. Don't do that. How we do that? <laughs> so who we gonna use? Loot. Loot. You're gonna use loot for a couple of reasons. Because of where it came out from. Where they came out from, they worship foreign deities. He came out from his grandfather's house. And his father's house with Abraham. They were giving up an idolatry. That's why he took Abraham out from them. Yeah. And when Luke went into the when he went into Simon and Amora, guess what? He didn't commit no homosexual out of the either. These people had things to follow. How long you got? See if that's the um, I don't know. Is that the uh, the book of Yahushua? They call it Joshua. <coughs> why am I thinking? Is it the 24th chapter? 28 is the last verse. I mean, 20, let me see if it's 24. Yahushua, they call it Yahushua. Well, Yahushua. Is that 24, I think I want? 24 and 1. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see what they said. 24 and 1, Yahushua. They call it Joshua. Listen. Then Yahushua gathered all the Mata of Yasharal to Shechem and Kara to the Zakanim of <coughs> Yasharal and for their Rosh and for their Shafatim and for their officers. The Rosh are the heads, y'all, for the Shafatim and for the officers, and they presented themselves before Allahim. I see what they did. And that's something. That was a day when the Benim of Yasharal, you ain't gonna believe what they did. They present themselves before you. That's a practice. That's why it'd be bad when y'all guys lay out and don't do what y'all supposed to do. It. Don't press up and do what y'all supposed to do. Listen, Yahushua said to all the arm, thus says Yahuwah, the all of Yasharal. <laughs> Listen, you are both dwelt on the other side of the Nahar in the past, Tarak, the Abba of Abraham, and the Abba of Nakor, and they served other mighty ones. The one Nakor, that's um, that would be Lut's father. This is what they did. What they did? Served other mighty ones. So, see, they served other mighty ones. What happened? Then I took your Abba, Abraham, from beyond the Nahar and led him through all the Arats of Canaan. Y'all see that? I took him from him. 
See that? So a lot of stuff, you ain't gonna believe it. That's what he did to you, you was in Miss Rain. I took you from them people. They serve other mighty ones. I took you from, and when I took them from, when I took them to the play, he already knew not to make no league with them. Y'all get over here, you done league with everybody. You in your own league. Let me tell you something, I, I do stuff a little differently. You know, I <coughs> I, I, people call me kind of funny acting how I might do stuff. They think people might, preachers might be airing. I'm real funny with how I lock in business and how I do stuff with people. I had to be real funny with you because I don't never want my hands tied with you. I don't never want you caught, I don't never want to be calling your stuff. I don't never want to be caught up in nothing with you. I'm just being honest, I'm funny like that. I had to make sure how far I go with people, I got to make sure I watch you because I don't want you to have no control at the end of the day when I get ready to say what I ain't going to do, that's what it's going to be. And you ain't gonna never have no end on me to hold me back from doing it. Okay. I try to teach you. I, I, I try to teach you. People to tie your hands. People to tie your hands. When you get dinner with these people out here, these people to get you, you'll be indebted to them. I had to watch. I learned from Abraham. I can't let them make me rich. All right, I'm trying. Okay. I'm trying to tell you something. I do some stuff. I tell. I done told some people too. I said, I let you know. I don't need nothing from you now. I'd always keep my hand well, I ain't gonna never let you tie my hands. Yeah. I know what it's like, people, people y'all, y'all, want, y'all, ain't gonna, y'all ain't gonna listen. I know y'all ain't gonna listen, pay no attention to me. You be real careful, people make you tie your hands. Yeah. People will tie your hand, cause of what I do, people will stop my mouth. You had to always watch your relationship with people. Mm-hmm. People will tie you, okay, y'all ain't gonna believe me now. People, people will do that, people, people are crafty. You are, people that look like they don't mean nothing, that's a lie. They have an intent. Mm-hmm. People don't do nothing without an intent. So I had to make sure I keep one too. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm trying, I'm trying to help y'all out. <clears throat> I like to clear stuff with people. I like to let people know where I'm at now. I let them know. I said, I don't need nothing. I just make sure they just know that off the rip. I ain't going to put nothing in my mouth. Ain't nothing going in my behind. It ain't going to come around what I preach. That's right. I'd rather lose you. That's right. I already done counted up before that. All right, I'm just helping y'all out now. I just make sure where I keep. Y'all, y'all really want to follow how I do? Y'all ain't going to pay attention. I know y'all ain't going to pay attention because that's just something y'all ain't going to strong on doing. These people that tie your hand, mm-hmm. the higher they are, the dirtier they are. Yeah. Okay. They don't, no, they don't believe me. They don't believe me. These people are dirty. Yeah. These people are dirty you up, man. Let me tell you something. They ain't got one of them sitting in no position ain't dirty. That's right. That's why I watch my hands. Yep. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to help y'all out. Y'all ain't gonna listen. I know y'all ain't gonna listen. Cause your mind, you think you got it, and you think that what I do. These brother, who y'all see me cow tie town to? Who y'all see, tell me, tell me, who you see me cow tie to? Buy down to? Teach people know where I stand. It don't take me no time, I lose it. It instantaneous. It inst- instantaneous, I lose it. Listen, I lose it quick. Spread I feel like I'm being try to be put in something. Ooh, no, 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 no. Real quick, I lose it with you because I know I can't never let you tie my hand. I'm trying to help all y'all out. People to tie your hands. Yes, sir. People to tie your hand. People to set up. They'll set on you. Listen, when Shaul went to the city, you know what Yahushua told him? Told him he had to be afraid. Say, hey, people that said, nobody going to set on you, him. People, you know what I mean? People suppress you. Okay. <laughs> y'all ain't got to believe it. He let him know, man. There's some play. He said, I got some people here. He said, you ain't got to worry about nobody setting on you. They'll suppress, many people make you suppress what you do. Okay, y'all ain't gotta believe me. Let me say something. These people don't want me to make y'all, they don't want me to make no men. Cause they know they make men, they're in trouble. Yeah, that's okay. right. Y'all ain't gotta believe me. Y'all ain't gotta believe me. They're in trouble. Ain't no men out here. I, listen man, I can put y'all in the what? Ain't no men out here. These four women, don't believe them. Go ahead and believe these people. These people ain't in there. Why y'all think he's showing all these people up? Mm-hmm. There are no men. Okay. They went the whole Psalm, whole Psalm of Gomorrah. How many men he took out that city? One. What them guys were his daughter and them had with them? Why they didn't come out? They married though. They just take the right situation. They show these folks up. I help y'all a lot, man. I don't believe these folks. And I say I'm the only one. No, sir. No, man. Don't you believe that? I can help y'all a lot, though. Believe it or not, tell us, I help y'all out. These folks, let me tell you something. They'll look at me. Man, here, you know what? I call y'all on live stream. You know why I call y'all on live stream? I want people to know the truth and I want people to see your development. 
Let me tell, let me tell what hurt people out here. Let me, I was telling somebody else. Let me, let me tell you something. I don't know why I had a conversation, but you know what I tell people. Let me tell you something. Why, you know why I don't read a lot of these books out here? Because everybody that write them a liar. That's right. If you wrote one of them, they didn't put you in the two. I'm going to tell you why. You ain't going to tell the whole truth. Yeah. Let me tell you what they do. They teach them how to cessationalize. Tell the truth. You can plan and pre-plan and still fail. Write that book. Nobody wants to read it. These people are not going to tell no truth. It's true. To be an artist, you got to be a liar. Yeah. It's not lying. It's, it's lying. Mm -hmm. They're not going to tell the truth. Go plan, pre-plan and do it and tell the truth. You still don't work. Write that book. I did all that still didn't work. They ain't going to do it. People love a comeback kid. What if the kid don't come back? Who going to read it? Watch everybody book pretty much the same. Yeah. <laughs> people don't want the truth. I help people. Out. People don't want the truth. I'm just telling you, they don't want the truth. They don't want the truth. People, listen, look at that boy <coughs> blind side. Remember that blind side? Mm -hmm. Look at that dumb. Man. The man who told y'all flat, he don't know why they put it. He said, I, I, that one man, I could read. That's right. That That's man right. went from couldn't read to a sailor and made the car. Man, look at that. I can't read. And you still can't read. Right. They, everybody loved the struggle. It's a comeback kid. Right. From the project, couldn't read, illiterate, walk around the man and said, that's, that's not true. Yep. But it's sold. Yep. They teach you to be a liar. It's, listen, it's called creativity. <laughs> they, what they tell me, it's called creativity. It's not called creativity. It's called you have to lie mm -hmm. and make things appear a way so people will be attracted mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. When you write these novel books, these people don't go in and ain't gonna tell the truth. Let me tell you what most of the time these folks write these books. I ain't talking about these books, these folks write the book. First of all, very few, of, most of them don't even have the character that they write about, okay? They're not the people they write about. They make up things of what they would like and the person they would like to be. And they said to you, because you ain't nobody and you looking to be the same thing they are. That's why you yep. buy it. Yep. I'm not gonna read no book about telling me how they became nobody, because I ain't trying to be you, so why would I read it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's just the common sense of such stuff. Let me help y'all out with such stuff. So what am I trying to do? Why am I reading this book? What am I trying to be? A rich dad, poor dad. All these people read their book. These, let me tell you something. You know why these people read these books? Because they like to have these conversations. The average of these people are broke. Let me tell you something. Go do this. Go ask Warren Buffett that he read rich dad, poor dad. <laughs> ask Bill Gates that he read it. Ask these guys how many of them read it and still broke and struggling. Don't read it, ain't interested in reading it. They sell you these books, make a fool like, you think that man gonna tell you how to do what he did? Right. You can't be that stupid. Right. These people ain't gonna tell you no truth. Why would I tell you to sit you where I'm at? Right. That's retarded. Right. <sighs> I don't know, but for some reason in your mind, you think it'll work for you. So you gotta believe something, they sell you lies, because you need a lot. Let me tell you something. Most of these people, seminar, whole lot of study people, say, these people not doing what they say they're doing. They all going to tell you a lot to wheel you in and get you in. They'll never tell you enough to put you where you at. These people, if they actually made it and done that, so you think you finna sit here for $200, I'm finna tell you how to do what I did. For $200. Can you be that stupid? But because you always think something comes, I found a lucky penny one day, and that's my first million. Made a fool out of you. No many times you lose before you win. You'll lose so many times before you win. And they ain't gonna put that in. They gonna just because you love that sensationalism and stuff. You make them lie you. Make them tell the truth. You ever say I pre-planned, I planned well, I still didn't make it. How many of y'all went to college and didn't work in your field? This is they all right one, they did it. All of them will do it. Because they got a success, like they got to sell the story. Somebody make somebody keep going. A lot of times, life have different change outcome. Just because you read somebody's book, don't mean it's going to work for you. Even if they're true, what makes you think it's going to work for you? A lot of times, what you don't realize why people make what they do, it depends on what they're willing to do. <laughs> okay, I want to be a great football player, I'm proud, but I don't want to practice. Why not? What I'm probably have to do to be a great football player, great basketball player, what you probably do? Probably don't practice, just watch videos. Sit around and eat, 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 eat on Fruit Loops and stuff, eat snacks. Y'all know people who become great, you know why they're great? Those guys put in hours when you sleep. Those guys, they'll tell you they sleep it and eat it. Those people tell you they sleep it, eat it, and they dream it. They'll tell you that's, they don't even write. People that go, you know what they'll tell you? That's all they think about. 
Once they achieve it, they got it. They'll play you off. That's not what they do. They won't even, they'll look like they don't do nothing. People are dumb enough to believe Michael Jordan didn't practice. <laughs> they dumb enough to believe he didn't practice. He just spent all that time in God court. He knew what he was doing. Right. He knew how to throw you off. Mm. He had another side. He knew how to throw you off, make you think he did. People know how to fool you because you're a sucker. You don't believe anything. Let me tell you something. It's where you'll put your heart at. Put your heart in something that means something. This is it for me. I'm just telling the truth. So y'all read these people's books. Why? Ask people, ask people, where your heart at? Some of these people do seances and chat. Y'all read stuff. I don't read these people. Y'all don't even know nothing about these people. I'm being, y'all to listen to people. It's, don't, let me tell you something. Call me crazy. Let me tell you something. I don't listen to everybody. That man, I told y'all, even communication can rub. Y'all know how many folks come up, they tell y'all these people do these seances. These people say here chanting. These people you did junk and you follow these people. Y'all really dumb. Y'all really dumb. I'm telling you, I see, listen, I had four years ago, I'm mean, a boy, you go buy them bad, $1,800, $2,200. They go, they'll tell you, Tony ain't never bought one. I ain't interested in one and don't want one. I don't care what it do. I know why people make it. These people, people are doing that stuff in the street. They got, a lot of these folks sell their heart. You idolize these people. You love them. My wife, she have her favorite stars and all of them too. They don't, she don't want to believe them folks sell their soul. They don't want to believe it. They just think they're just talented. She sold out like that. She don't know nobody. She'll try to look that crazy look. Now she know good where she love them people. <laughs> My wife love them people. She white. She love them people. She'll try to play that stuff with me. She ain't, I ain't no fool. My wife love them people. I ain't got a hill of beans in none of them. That's right. All them put them in a the bag, turn upside down. I wouldn't care who hit the ground. That's from. right. People, y'all, I'm just telling you, you don't know what these people doing. All of them, the rappers, yep. the singers, the editors. Y'all think Taylor Swift just popped up on that stage out of nowhere? Nobody. And everybody just, was, let me tell you something. <laughs> It's an art to what these people do. Yep. Y'all know how many people write songs and sing songs? Right. Her voice ain't no better than nobody else I heard. Right. Right. It's all about what you're willing to do. Mm. It's all about who you'll serve. Who you... Listen, I ain't trying to knock it. That's her money. I ain't going to never buy her stuff. I don't know one. Listen, this ain't no lie. I don't know not one of her songs. I don't know a hook or a start to them. And don't care. <laughs> and I don't care. That's right. <laughs> and I don't care. That's right. <laughs> She can sell five billion app. That joke don't bother me because I don't care. That's right. Y'all the only people hurt by <laughs> right. Beyonce. I don't listen to Beyonce either. Nope. I don't care. That's right. <laughs> and then, frankly, we don't care. That's right. That stuff don't bother these people. Listen, these people was do drugs. These people sell their soul. These people have sex with kids. These folks would drink blood. They had all that stuff on that woman. Lady Gaga got talking about what she do. What about the rest of them? Right. She ain't no different than the rest of them. That's right. All these folks, somebody told she put semen in the bottle. I don't know how she make no semen. No, they said she had her perfume, semen. Disgusting. Lady Gaga might have a slum. <laughs> <laughs> ain't say a song. Ain't that right? I'm trying to tell you, I know my member. Listen, my member, I already know y'all love these people. Man, y'all love, y'all worship these people. These folks, these folk did to tell. I already know my, this, man, please, my people love these folks. Let me tell you something. Y'all about get y'all out of these folks. Let them folks take them books, burn them That's things right. up. When Shaw came through the city, you know what them folks did? All them folks, they carry art. Right, they burnt them books. Yep. Did y'all know? They don't know about that, though. Yep. These folks got a collection of these folks. They're what I look at. How you living? Mm-hmm. What, what good is all them books? How you living? That's right. You a sad sack? You a mental retard? How you living? Let's just be honest. A lot of stuff y'all do. <clears throat> I look at this. What is your game? You just know a lot of things, but you don't know this. Right. Guess you like both. You don't know Diddly. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, so this is the thing. Right? I'm trying to get y'all back here. I know that hurts y'all. Feelings. <laughs> Nothing more than feelings. I try to tell y'all how to watch and listen to stuff intelligently. That how y'all slip off and y'all go to the world, listen to the world music. I don't listen to that junk, man. I don't pay these folks. These people don't have, listen. How to tell, I can care at least about any one of these people. Mm-hmm. I ask them, none of these people phase me. I'm too busy living my life. Yeah. I ain't trying to imitate none of these people. I ain't trying to be one of these people. I ain't trying to be with none of these people. Man, I create my own way. Mm-hmm. My whole end of this right here, what I'm doing, moving us forward somewhere. But y'all got so many, this is one thing. You weak, you straggling, you behind, you can't stay focused, but you got all that knowledge. Now, how much, what you think I think about your knowledge? What you think about all, what you think I care about all your deep study? People that make it don't pay attention. Let me tell you something. I told y'all years ago, keep your eyes off these people. 
These people are not making it the way you think. I know y'all saying, oh, they did. They're not. Mm -hmm. They're thieves. They're liars. They're rapers. They're child molesters. These folks, these folks, demon, and these people know it and they still love them. They don't care. I just want to be great. You greatly mistaken. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's retarded. Y'all stay focused on what y'all need to do. Y'all young people, keep your eyes off these people. I'm telling y'all, do what's right and watch that man benefit you. There's a lot of stuff I can't do. That's right. Man, these folks told me a plan. I'm t let me tell you something. Y'all have no idea what these folks do to y'all. Y'all run all these other people. They don't know what these folks do to them. Let me tell you, we had a meeting. Guy was telling them how to do stuff and how to get these cars. So most of y'all, how many of y'all bought these cars? Bought cars out of other people like him. How many of y'all bought them? Y'all ain't nobody bought no car from no way. Do, do y'all know what these people do to y'all too? <clears throat> That's how I ain't seen it. That's how I showed it to them. When y'all get any credit, when they come back and they pull y'all credit, and once the, when the bank come back and let them know what your rate is, do y'all know they take your rate up on their own? I'm making this up, Anna. They sent me the contract. They sent me the contract. One lady was buying a car, $24,000. They put four more thousand on it. And they put four more points on it. Her payment was going to be $400 something from the bank. Her payment went to $778. The car lot is going to make that money for the whole time she made the lot. Mm. Oh, y'all get him that. I guarantee that ain't never done. He can strike me down if I done it. Mm. But y'all love these people out here. These people get you. Listen, that's standard practice. They told her flat. They said, that's standard. They said, y'all don't do it. I said, I, said, I said, listen, when I sell a car, that's it. You know what I tell people when I sell a car? They only like me to talk to people, do the town. Do they? <clears throat> but, <laughs> he don't like one. You know what I, listen, you know what I tell people that come back? They'll tell you, I tell people, they waste too much time. You know what I tell the people? I said, I'll build them with you. I don't need nothing. They'll tell you, the, I tell them folks, I said, I don't, I tell the folks, I said, I don't have to. Okay, they think I'm just talking. I tell the folks, I said, I don't have to sell a car. I said, either way it go. I said, this ain't all I do. I said, if I tell you something, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I don't have time to kiss. I don't kiss nothing, ain't nothing going to my mouth. I can sleep at night. Right. They'll tell you, I mean, listen, there ain't no bulls and bad. Let me tell you something. I like being my own man. Y'all like being suckers. Mm -hmm. You're a sucker, and he still keep me eating and going. Yeah. I don't have to take nothing from nobody. Let me tell you something. These people have to take from people to make that. I don't have to scheme, gamble, do nothing. All I got to do is live right and do what the man told me to do. The man will benefit. I, my boy, I follow behind him. They do the same thing. They know what to do. Tell them too, that's one of my sons too. I asked him, he ain't mine. He said, no, I'll take it. He said, as long as I get that half of that hair, I said, you are a stepson. <laughs> nah, step. We definitely don't do it. I ain't got no white kids for the rest. All my kids black. Definitely, all oh, my kids black. <laughs> no, but at the end of the day, I try to tell y'all, these people suck at y'all every time. But y'all love running to them, and I appreciate you. Listen, they get you every time. Listen, sit up. they said standard practice. The bank calls and see, you don't talk to the bank, talk to them. The bank let them know what your rate is. They gonna stick four more points on that play. They just double your pay. You think, and they tell you, say, listen, I did what I could do for this, what they gave you. And they been like, listen, every month you paying them, they get half of that. They said the minimum two points. But hey, that's what you get. You trust everybody. You love everybody out here. Right. Let me tell you something. I do things, we do things a little different. So I don't move in many that they do. But you know what you who would do? He don't make me miss one bit. Mm. Um, listen, I don't miss a beat. I appreciate my friend. <clears throat> and they stand with me too. Like, Daddy, we could do it. We could we could try to we could do that. Clothes on Shabbat. Mm -hmm. They said, man, how you want to call out clothes on Shabbat? Watch us. Watch us and you'll learn. Saturday, biggest day they got here to sell. Oh, don't, let me tell you, I try to get folks how to do These folks scared about these businesses. You ain't going to make it no how if you don't do what you who are telling you. That's right. That's right. Guess what? These folks giving up cars, they shed lights down there almost Saturday. I guarantee we ain't closing. What's so. up? Go ahead, any one of them. You remember that time when the check went clear? You remember that time I said, hold on, let me pay you that next week? He right there. Y'all can catch him. You ain't finna sit here and lie. Throw you. you know you throw your soul away, you lying. When that time you couldn't find me, I was like, oh man, the dog had ate that check up. <laughs> I'm, just telling, I'm just helping y'all out. Let me tell you something. I'm, I'm reading, I tell y'all that. Do what that man told you to watch that man. You know what? Watch stuff don't work for because you don't trust him. Yeah. 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 All right. Only car lot clothes on Saturday. Mm -hmm. On Shabbat, clothes. We close. We close. We, clo we ain't some like clothes. We close. I had a partner. He, he could owe me to do it. We decided to go ahead and get rid of him. Don't need him. 
We're going to go all the way with you who are told. I don't have to make no pot deal. Nobody do nothing. I'm going to do everything. This is all I'm telling I learned for everybody here. It time out to quit trying to straddle a fence. Right. Tear the fence down let it stay on one side. That's right. Yeah. That's, That's right. Listen, you, you know what your code did, what he did with Laban? He put a wall up there. Yep. I ain't crossing and don't you come over here. That's right. Put the cough up, y'all. We closed. That's yes, all we're going to do. Your hood going to benefit. Listen, ain't nobody going to make it anywhere unless you who elect you. Mm -hmm. See, what well, we going to, I've been there, I've been, I been there, look at that. How you going to do it? But how I'm going to do that? I'm going to do, do it the way he told me to do it. He, so let me get when he made this up and said Shabbat, we're gonna share that for a car lot, that for a truck, that for a, a construction company, that before anything, and I know all of what I do and other stuff do. For any of that ever came, he done already set this up. So he didn't know that was gonna happen. Right. He know I got he still gotta provide. Mm -hmm. Don't you know that man sat here and told him he's sitting around to go get in the company. Man ain't gotta eat. So what he gonna do on Shabbat? They weren't gonna gather. He said, I make double before the day before that. But you know why it don't never work for us? Because you ain't never trust him enough to try to see. That's all of us. That be honest, we ain't never fully trusted him all the way. Because we always trying to figure how to do him and try to do versus they just do what he said. They just got it. How are we going to work? got to be the way he said it. He can't, listen, it can't work when we don't never fully let him. We always try to figure a way to manipulate it and still try to make it. He don't need no help. <laughs> That's it. He looking at it. When he need our help. Like, you remember when he told him to be still and see? He said, hold on. Y'all get out there with a shovel and start throwing the sand, start tossing out there in the water. He told you stand still. You just stand still and watch it. He ain't need them to do nothing. You ain't going to believe it. By that morning time, man, it was a clear path. Yeah. Guess what? Uh, what get we did? Start throwing dirt. I believe he could do it. I'm just <laughs> helping out. We, we didn't and work us together. Now you start yeah, quoting something don't fit. <laughs> I'm just throwing just her up and just, you know what I'm saying, just help us. Some of y'all get up and start pushing water to the side. Man, told him to be still. When are we going to get to a point, y'all, we're going to fully trust him? Right, right. I, that's what I had to look at. When are we going to fully trust him? We done trusted everything. We trusted in ourselves. How many times we let us down? How many times we screwed up? Why in the same, why, it, guess what that means, Dan? Because I screwed up so many. I'm you, me. It's just naturally he probably ain't going to mess up, too. Think about it. It's just natural thinking. He might not mean to, but he might not. And you know what happened now? That's why he want me to know. He said, I ain't a man that I'm going to tell us all. Right, right, right. He said, I ain't, I ain't from, from Adam that I'm going to have to <clears throat> repent. That's right. If I said it, that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And if I spoke something, I'm going to make it too. Yeah. Why, why is what Batham told us that? That's right. Because we were thinking, I mean, I know I lied, but my intent, you know, they ain't my intent though. He said, let's do this. That's because that's you. Don't ever grade me with you. He let you know, I'm not going to lie. And I ain't repenting for nothing I done. But we tend to grade him based off of us and our ability. That's why you get stuck in your relationship. And you don't have one with him because you keep trying to make him like you. Mm -hmm. See, he tried to make us like him. That's right. He said, let us make man in our. Yeah. He said, let us be. I'm, let us make us a cell like them. He said, no, I'm trying to make you like me. Why are you trying to make him like you? Yeah. Can we start to see where some of our failure done came in? Yes, sir. Let's be honest. You screwed up so much, it's just natural he gonna screw up. You going back on your words so many times, it's just natural if I don't help do something, he ain't gonna do it. Man, man, come through every time. I mean, I tell you that because somebody ain't gonna believe it. I'm telling y'all what he's doing for me. Y'all ain't gonna believe it. He's doing it for me. He's doing it for me. I ain't lying. I ain't trying to borrow now. I long fought with money, money. Mm -hmm. Everybody can't say that. Yeah. It's true. I got 400. Yeah. It's true. Better ask somebody. <laughs> Y'all better ask somebody. Your hood show, you know what your hood did? That? Let me know. Listen, bought my and got more money than I got. Can I get a witness? Yes, sir. Where them hands at? I ain't no hands here to witness this. Witness here. Huh? Y'all better. Don't, you done. I'm a, don't worry. The one, don't worry. Wait, I tell you, wait. Wait a couple weeks to see what you get. Yes, sir. I'll show you. Since you don't know, you ain't going to know something else. Either. That's right. Bust it up, free. That's right. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, y'all, you know why you hood let that happen? They try to show you something. Don't ever think these folks got more than you hood. Listen, it be more with us than it be with them. That's right. I, I'm telling you something where y'all, y'all know where y'all piss me out with y'all. Y'all the wicked people and got the most bad they ever seen. Mm. Yeah. Ain't none of these folks got what y'all got? No, sir. Okay. 
Tell them folks go to their church and see them folks pay their bill. Go tell them folks say they something them folks gonna help them out. Them folks gonna tell them, man, this is, we'll, we'll, we'll pray, we'll put you on the prayer list. Yeah. Yeah. If I don't care about you, them and their family. You know they tell them folks, y'all ain't many families we got here. <laughs> them people gonna tell them, man, join the list. Them churches so busy showing out, going out feeding folks in the street. Them folks in their home church hungry. They want them, want your church feed the hungry. We ain't no church. I'm feeding what I got. Mm-hmm. When Yahushua out there, Yahushua fed the people following him. Mm-hmm. When he told them to go out and feed them people. They own people need help. Yeah. Dumb folks out there feeding them folk and they hungry. Mouth swallowed down. It's this for them people. I'm them people. Don't make me steal now. <laughs> And I'd be like, damn, Aunt Rod, that criminal. Trey B start sticking that criminal stuff in his chest. I start sticking inside my coat. <laughs> right, folks, that, listen, you would have done a lot for y'all. Y'all just, y'all just ungrateful people. For how you need to serve now, how you need to appreciate what you need to do. Terrible people. I tell y'all that up front. People need to know about y'all. Y'all terrible people. Lack confidence, lack faith. I'm gonna be honest. When you been outside since you been here? Never. When you don't went hungry? Never. When you don't went without? Shut your mouth. Tell that stupid lie. That man ain't always seen about us. That's right. He fixed it. He take care of me. Yes, sir. That man, that man a benefit to us. Anybody out of stand and be an example to all these folks that show in the man, this is the worst economy they seen, worst track they seen. We still going. Yes, sir. I know what someone's saying. It hard on me because you hard headed. Yeah. And one reason you hear or not, you ain't gonna believe why you hear or not. You ask not. They said, why well, I ask? You ask wrong. Yeah. So you can put it on your lust. Mm-hmm. That's why I let a lot of y'all stay in the same condition because you ain't asking for the right reason. Mm-hmm. Man, let me tell you something, mm-hmm. I have for stuff. I have for stuff because he know it different from me. Unlike y'all, I already know when I get something, it ain't never just mine. Mm-hmm. Y'all remind me, I'm a, I remember sitting out with my mama who watching TV, sitting on that floor, and you hear that little paper. You be sitting there. <laughs> you be sitting there in front of that TV. She laying in that bed, looking at the TV like that. You hear something like that? You're like, you turn, you look back down. <laughs> Come on. Start back looking at the TV. You're like, <laughs> listen, don't even look at you. You stand for, you like, I know it ain't crazy. She done met around and got greedy. And bit and a piece of caramel hang off her lip. <laughs> we got that flow. <laughs> she said, y'all make me sick. <laughs> she said, I'll eat mess you don't want it. We like, yeah, you eat it because we know it's good. <laughs> so I already know, don't even try to hide it. I'm gonna have a piece of caramel hanging on my lip, or something gonna happen. <laughs> and that right side, so I already know what happened. You get it. You out the shed. It yeah, don't right. make no difference. But I mean, that's how we work, though. Yeah. That's just being honest. But see, that's the thing with y'all. Which, and the reason I said that, y'all to consider. A lot of people go places and they can even get taught. It's hard to, to, to accept teaching when you're looking at your situation and you don't see a resolve. Unlike the average person that's sitting in these places teaching, there's a resolve for you. That, that's just been, that's a resolve for you. And you, if people sit down and listen, I, man, but you say you listening and you, you don't say, how that gonna work out? And ain't nobody gonna do nothing for you. This is just in your hand. And you trying to hear the word, it's like, whew, you overwhelmed. That ain't y'all situation. The only reason you in your head, you do what you want, cause you doing your own thing. That's, I'm just being honest, that's the only reason you at, cause you doing your own thing. Listen, you ain't lost nothing. You gonna gain more than you gonna lose. That's just better, but you still don't trust them. But that goes on because that's the type of person you are. You can't trust yourself. So it's just natural not to trust your whore. It's just natural not to believe in your whore because you can't be <coughs> believed in yourself. See, I'm telling you, until you change the person you are, you can't change your relationship. Okay. Come on. You're a terrible person. You're inconsistent. Why would a consistent, trustworthy Allahim have any relationship with you? Hmm? So until you can change who you are, you really can't accept him for who he is. Because I hadn't changed. <laughs> uh, 
I, I really just need us to think about what we're doing and look at the effects of it, how it hurts you in your servitude. You don't think it does. I watch my, my guy, you're in a slump. You live in a slump. And tell me your neighborhood, you are ruach me in a you are ruach spiritually in a slump. Mm. And you ain't got no breakthrough. You don't see it. It ain't because of a thing. It's because you <clears> ravage <throat> yourself into so many different personalities. You ravage yourself into so many commitments of things. You tried to come. People buying, I was talking to somebody earlier about um, uh, people talking about depression. I don't believe in nothing. I don't subscribe to none of that stuff. Listen, that's a good living. Uh, John, y'all got that's a good living. I had, I do, you know what I do in the phone? I laid them on the, first off, I put them in my office. I let a train come through there. Y'all, how might I know what my prayer gonna be? It was a train gonna come, gonna hit him. I'm gonna drag and put him on the floor. <laughs> bah! <That's it. laughs> I'm gonna till somebody come and get me off of him. Then they do. I'm gonna leave for the day. I'm gone. Cut. No, I don't believe. Let me tell you something. I had to come <clears> to <throat> somebody else. Let me, let me tell you the worst. Everything that you got, these people clinically diagnose you, and people just accept things. There is no idea of thought that typically doesn't come to the company. You know, there are some people caught. There are extremes. You know, there are people that start murdering people based off of thoughts. Again, this is controlling will. This is what we call willpower. You can think uh, or, or look at something. You don't have to act upon it. Right. So it's a matter of discipline. When people put all this depression and all this stuff here, I don't believe none of this foolish, okay? Something don't work out. <clears throat> I'm in depression. No, that didn't work out. I have to bounce. I'm this, I'm this type of person when something don't work out. I'm real funny. I said, I'm going to do something different. I'm cutting tired for stuff because I have to redirect. I have to keep moving. You guys can shut down and go, I can't operate. I'm quick about that. People want to know why. Because I'm that type. I have to keep moving. I can't get stuck. Y'all get stuck. And it, it throws me. I can't get stuck. Oh, I'm going to oh, kill myself. This is, this is where your mindset is. You have to learn how to redirect yourself. You are a person. You have to. This is what people... I just want to be one I'm happy all the time. Okay, now you're retarded, okay? This doesn't happen. Life is about acceptance, okay? Life is not always the same way, okay? You have to have sickness to understand well. You have to have poverty to understand rich. You all right? You got to have sad to understand happiness. So there's a balance of how far you allow and you let things in. A lot of these, these different attitudes or these different functionalities are worse for you as a person. You learn to adjust. How you learn how to be able to battle through every situation? Y'all don't think, what y'all think I walk around happy all the time? Things happen. I learn to adjust. I learn how long I can entangle <clears throat> myself with something. So a lot of times I don't deal with stuff alone. I just move. I said, I'm doing something different. That's just how I move. I don't, I move different. Y'all do stuff. Y'all stay in stuff too long. I said, well, that's where you at. You on this retarded stuff. I can't be bothered with it. I have to keep moving. Otherwise, I'm going to get trapped. And a lot of y'all get trapped and you slumped up. By the time you get yourself out where you got, I'm long gone. You've lost time. Because at the end of the day, I got to make sure I'm saved. If I get myself too entangled with some other things, I done missed. I lost. And a lot of times y'all lose on other ends. Okay, okay, now I'm good. You're good, but you lost. You have lost. He can't use you. He can't use me when I get myself entrapped. He told me, you can't, he said, you can't get entangled. So I understand what thing happened. I'm real quick about, I will readjust. You might think I'm being funny. Listen, I'm real quick about readjusting things quick. You know where I got that from? When he told me to give a of stewardship. He said, well, you know what? First thing this week, that man said, <coughs> quick. <laughs> what we got? Let me get, I need to move. I got to get out of this situation. Y'all stay in stuff too long. You like depression. It give you a reason to stay fat or get fat. It give you a reason to, to justify behavior. It give you the opportunity. It give you to justify why you're not cleaning up, why you're not doing what you're supposed to do. I already know why most of y'all do it. You're just looking for excuses. I don't look for no excuses for nothing. I need absolutely no excuse to do nothing. I'm a man. Y'all look for excuses to quit. That's retarded. I'm a man. Why would I be quitting? I'm a man. Y'all got me. I try to teach you, as men, it's stuff y'all do. You shouldn't be doing it. I am saying, you shouldn't be doing it. He told y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, y'all stuck on these people. Who he told you to mark? Who he told you to behold? What's supposed to be the end of that man? Y'all see why I'm over here broke down? That's how I am. Y'all know I'm broke down. I be telling how I can't make it. Yo, sir. That be, don't be telling how I be starving, how stuff working. Go watch all these other people you follow. They went what? Go to jail, go to court, get sued for molestation. Homosexuality, everything else. <clears throat> Y'all stop marking these people. That's right. He don't talk, but you know, that's, that's a transgression too. Yeah. 
Because he told you, he told y'all who to mark. Hello? Yes, sir. I can help y'all out. It's I, right. just, I can help y'all out. But listen, it ain't it ain't about me, it's about what he told you to do. That's why look at people stuck. Go, I guarantee you. Go find every one of them here stuck and see who they've been marking. I guarantee I know what they've been marking, not what they were supposed to. And it's, and it's purposely designed for you to be in your situation because you did not do what he told you. You ain't going to believe it. Yes, you Yahoo already said, they have not all obeyed. That's right. They have not all obeyed. Pay attention. He, told, he said, enter that man in Shalom. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm just trying to tell you how to do that. Take your time. Stop trying to run so fast. Why they, man, don't watch these people out here. Ask these people. Walk up there and say, so, so what, you, what you doing? They were, uh, 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 just, all <coughs> cosmetic. They're all liars. They're not going to tell you the truth. They're giving up their behinds. They're putting things in their mouth they ain't got no business. They're doing all kinds of things. They're supposed to do anything to be famous. They look good. So you can look at it. Look, the people that who you looking at to be at, you got more going on than they got. Mm. I refuse to respect somebody I got more going on than they do. <laughs> These folks, they got a man, he little, and he been kissing a baby in the mouth. <laughs> Child molestation, where I come from. Yeah. Been, how many folks, they'll be honest, how many folks were fans of the boy Lil Wayne before? I'm talking about that. How impressed y'all when y'all found out he was broke? One ain't getting paid worth nothing. How did he look, though? He had the world in his hand. He looked out of like, man, if I could be like that famous. These guys are broke. Think about it. The people you were looking up to work harder, busting their behind, and had nothing. See that? It's an illusion. And y'all love these people. These people really don't have nothing. They don't have no peace. They don't have no safety. And you're <clears> stupid <throat> behind. And these dumb actors, y'all remember how these, these people are miserable. They on drugs. These people sell their soul to the devil. You got more than if you get up and go to work and you're an honest individual. You can lay your head on your pillow and rest. You can be you. That's more bad than me than any money. I can be me. I always been me. I like being me. I like being me a long time ago. I ain't gonna lie, you see folks stuff, that stuff be looking good. You know what people do? You say, mm, no, not interested. Let me tell you something, I could have been sold. These folks be talking, let me tell you something. None of these folks have been offered what I've been offered. I've been offered, listen, they call me. Mm-hmm. They, anybody call these people, they call me. They call me. They told me, say, when we, what, what do you need? We'll discover what do you need to feel comfortable? <clears throat> I let them know. Master Mo called me. <laughs> Master Mo, and I was working. You think I couldn't stop? I, you, let me tell you something. I could have been sold out. I could have been sold out. But people, I know people. I could have been sold, You know why people watch me? Why that? Integrity. Right. Mm-hmm. You ain't got no preacher that can come in and say, oh, me and Smith. Me and these hoes, me and Smith, me and these guys, me and these kids. It's called integrity. I, I work my way with integrity. Most of these guys, they ain't got no integrity. Whole lot of people, they ain't got no integrity. They'll talk, they ain't got no integrity. They ain't got no integrity. I'm just being honest with y'all. Integrity be all this stuff. That's right. You got to put your time. Y'all know why I'm going over there with y'all? Because I'm trying to encourage y'all. You stand, you keep integrity. Integrity beat this stuff in the other way. Man, take a listen. Little righteous man have. More than all the treasure of the wicked. I tell you, when I went to my daughter's school, my older daughter, I shut that whole thing down. Then nobody want to get them to tell what they did no more. I got to tell you, when I got up and I spoke, then I had wore my clothes. I had back there slinging them drinks all day. I was tired too. I was tired too. Them folks talking about what their job are doing, they're, you know, and where they working, what, you know, God, all that. I said, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. They went on hit me. Huh? That be it. That is. She said, bravo. Shut it down. Mm-hmm. So they want to, now one of y'all ain't gonna be no role model. Now, no, listen, integrity. Yeah. Yeah, my kid, I look at my kids. They know, integrity. Integrity. Yeah. I go there with my boys, integrity. Yeah. Y'all hear me? I'm trying, to tell, I'm trying to help y'all out. That's the same thing I tell y'all. Integrity, I tell you that, integrity. Mm-hmm. They watching, integrity. Y'all hear me? Means a lot. Kids need to see it. Did y'all young people, I'm gonna teach y'all something. Y'all wipe me if you don't want to. Integrity. That's what I got, integrity. Y'all mean it? You can, tr- you can count on me. You can trust me. Be somebody they can count on. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? 
when your word need to, and when you give your word, that's what you're going to do. And much as you're a bit, that's what you do. You, you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to be a man, you start doing it. Then you're in a good position. Integrity. You don't see it in some years from now. Watch all them other people who like them passion. Just give a little time. You're going to look back. You're going to say, I thought you were really doing something. They don't. These folks, they're not doing nothing. A lot of folks don't pay them no attention. They're not doing nothing. I seen a guy one time. I remember that joke. And I started in the car bin. He was doing so beautiful. That guy, you to pull up. That guy, he to jump out of the car. He had some nice stuff. Listen, he was doing good. When the hot, listen, he was doing real good. He came to see me the other day. <clears throat> I said, what, I said, what you doing? He said, oh, I'm selling these. I said, selling them? What wrong with He's doing mighty bad. He's doing mighty, listen, he was doing, they might, he would be doing real good, didn't he? Don't take long, though. He'll start breaking it down. He sound for a while, start telling me he had everything he had going on. I said, I let him know, I say, you see my boys now? He said, yeah, your boys, I want to have their head on, right? That boy, yeah, his boy doing good too, locked up. They doing real bad too. They're doing, he doing bad too, they looking real bad too. They looking mighty bad <clears throat> before. I said, but you know what? I could have put my eyes on though. I could have made him an Alahim. It don't take long, Alahim bring, look, he bring him right back in your face. Let him sit down, shooting real bad too. Shooting real bad too. I said, what? I said, it don't take long, just give some time. So I learned, I watch folks, listen, I'm telling you, he do, I mean, he used to, listen, it used to click for him like that. He doing real bad, he said, man, he said, I said, you, you, you doing pretty good out there, got some good stuff in that thing. I said, yeah, yeah, he got away, ain't he? Yeah, white people just let him keep going out of the wild. It don't take long, Mr. these folks y'all look up to, you will turn around in a little bit. Yeah. I'm, for a reason I'm telling y'all this, because I know y'all eyes on them. Mm -hmm. I, watch, I don't watch y'all rap like them, try to look like them. Try to skidooby like these people. Like I've been told y'all jokes. I'm just, y'all, y'all do. I don't watch them. I don't watch them. I don't, I don't see them scooby dooby like these people. Won't be themselves to say their life. Y'all right. gotta be, be just that faking them. That junk just made me wanna throw up to yep. them. Y'all try to let these guys homosexual. I guess y'all gonna be homosexual too then. No, I'm gonna run y'all out this door now. That's right. They let that wanna scooby dooby like these people. Man, let me tell y'all something. Y'all guys don't even listen. I've been told y'all before. You know why I don't deal with a lot of y'all? Y'all don't, don't even believe me yourself. Y'all got talent and you're too dumb. Y'all keep trying to sound like these people. Leave them clowns alone. These clowns don't even write down stuff. They thieves. Mm -hmm. These <coughs> thieves. You, let me tell you how dumb these folks. Y'all think these folks actually be throwing away these folks CDs and these tapes. These niggas know they listen to that stuff. Yep. Them niggas ain't in no street to get no talk. Right. <laughs> what I know about no bag? Talking about somebody to bag. They don't be with nobody to talk like that. I know slide no on the slide or unless you slide. That's right. These niggas listen to these folks stealing stuff and sit up here stealing these folks stuff. They come back in the throat and you thinking, man, he, he relevant. No. <laughs> Nigga, an elephant. <laughs> Big fat, stupid fool. These niggas ain't got nothing. Y'all got credit. Y'all got me running. Right come up with stuff. Too stupid. Trying to sound like these people. I said, there they go. They just too worried about these people. They get mad. I know you get mad with us. Yeah, you get mad with it. You get mad with the team. I ain't trying to sound like these people. We ain't trying to sound like these people, man. Bump these jokers. It's I know right. they're thieves. We ain't trying to steal nobody's stuff. Do our own thing. We don't need these people. Quit trying to cut the fire. Look these folks. Try to watch him. Y'all had chain trying to hang right. Catch your penis. You fall on the ground. I'm not going to take it off. <laughs> don't hang that thing up. Ooh, hit that ground. That's where you're going to lay. You're going to stay. You know, I think first one hit the ground, we're going to kick them. Trying to sag, that preacher be wanting his pants up tight. That right, nigga ain't gonna rape me. That's right. <laughs> nigga, tighten y'all pants up. That's right. All this old gay stuff y'all be pulling around him. Yeah. I'm old school, man. I'm paying bill, nigga rape you. A man, please. I ain't got nothing to give you. Mm -hmm. Hey, crap, y'all get y'all behind the crowd. Look like these sorry nigga. All these niggas weak. All the guys gay. Yeah. Can I told your favorite rapper gay? <laughs> Been told these guys. God, love the old weak, sorry nigga. Nigga ain't never been in the game. All these game, cause no, they ain't been in no game. Nigga ain't never even been with the little rascals. I'm trying to love and thug somebody. Set your behind down. We just found out him and the hardest nigga come out of doing California. Nigga with parachute pad on punk everybody. 
I ain't killed them, made boys in the hood. We like that nigga hard. Every movie I made, they come find a helmet and shut him down. <laughs> I ain't even making it. Y'all, I sent you the video. Helmet part, that nigga said, man, I don't like that talking to play. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> no boy done broke down. Nigga done, done had me believing. He done went on out here to kill old boy by his brother. I said, oh, that nigga hard down. <laughs> Helmet, they should have started that movie. Helmet, put a hand. You talked about my pain. He just turned around and got that car with that other boy. <laughs> All these done made a mess out of people. Yeah. Guys, you sitting here trying to run like these people. Just stop it. Yeah. Just stop it. Y'all guys are brilliant. I've been told you. Tell it. Got to like this nigga. Got to look like this nigga. Got to talk. You know my whip. Yo, what, nigga? You ain't no slave. <laughs> look at Jahi. Yeah, you knew my whip. <laughs> That's how I forget your what? You ain't no slave master. What are you talking about a whip? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm trying to help him out. My people. My people, they sell like they got a child of that dangling. <laughs> nigga, like you about to have a stroke. Stand your behind up, nigga. Yeah. Told you I made man up right. <laughs> they do it. Man, y'all got so y'all got talented though. That what Kim, I be blown away. I be like, they tell it. Why y'all trying to follow these people? Right. Y'all got talented. Yeah. Y'all can write. You can stroke. Y'all just, I just, I oh, man, that's why yeah, that's why I'm be one to fool with y'all. I be honest with y'all. I say you're too weak minded. Yeah. Weak mind don't, don't weak mind people. I just not, I'm not big. Then you fine though. That's just where you at. I just don't see it. I'm trying to tell y'all. They ain't got y'all want y'all want the truth. Yes. They ain't got one no guy they can pull can come up with nothing quicker y'all can. Tupac did. These guys can't come up with nothing. They're wasting time. All they're doing is thieving, collabing, because they know they can't do nothing. This guy can't do nothing. They stealing these young guys' stuff. They locking them guys in contract. They still, let me tell you who good. When these guys come in the street, these guys hungry. These niggas fat, sorry, and rusty, hold out, drunk up, and homosexual, they ain't got no raps. They ain't got no lyrics. They burnt out. The guy come out the street, he hungry. Okay, I tell, I tell you what, you go get a guy who been playing in the NFL for 10 years and go get a guy straight out of college and see who got out there and who gonna work the hardest. That guy know what he gotta come in and do, he hungry. He bucking for a position. And, and you know what the old dog gonna try to tell him? Yeah, man, I'm trying to go so hard for him. Man, all these folks gonna do, that, Boston back there, am I making this up, Boston? You know what the nigga gonna do, man, in 10 years, he gonna tell him, that, go, that joke come from college? That joke is hungry. He know what he got to do. I got to fight to get position out here. Man, all that stuff, man, he cracking. Man, I'm going to be doing all that stuff. That, 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 man, don't, don't be trying to do all that. And that thing, no, cut. That's how a bunch of jokes sitting at home right now. Them vets get them cut. You know why a lot of them guys ain't out there now making money? Because them vets done cut them, made them got cut. Why you think they get these guys and make them homosexual? God done told them, they make them, listen, they make them perform homosexual acts. Lock them down. Lock them in a bad contract. By the time them guy get ready to get money, they got AIDS. And y'all be idolizing these people. Whole industry, all these people riding. That's what got, they all right. They, man, I, don't, I don't believe them guys still riding. Like, they're doing 10, 15 years. Tupac dead. Yeah. Them guys know it. DMX dead. Them guys ain't got nobody out there. Yeah. Guys ain't even talking about it. First minute they come on, they got a whole, they got two minutes of just air playing. Right. <laughs> Little kid running around playing the video. Man, when you gonna start singing? Right. Talk, man, that's five minutes, 49 seconds. They got two minutes, 30 seconds, they win. Kid playing. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, right, what? Man, rap. <laughs> you guys can't tell me. Y'all got sound, man. Y'all got to come on some stuff. Y'all got sound coming up. Y'all keep finding these guys. Shut these guys' mouth. Y'all keep, let them folks watch out. They got to play y'all stuff. Y'all keep trying to, y'all keep trying to lean back over. Quit trying to be like these people. That's right. Can't leave these people alone. Yeah. Man, you know done gave us a talent. Yes, we can, man, we versatile. Look at I done took a country song. Yeah. 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 Right there, show our versatility. That's right. Smith done picked one. Me and Daniel thought she said, I don't know what Smith done. She don't drug. Let's not do that. One. I said, that's right. She crazy. Yeah, pictures. I heard in the radio. I said, let's stop the radio. <laughs> we can't do everything. <laughs> but no, y'all versatile. Y'all, y'all got, got so much talent. And y'all can despair for you who are. And spare the care, care, care just care is genius. He just, that boy put so many words down there. We didn't even knew Kerry talk like that. 
No, he ain't the only one. No, yeah, Ray go here, but you'll be one to say how fast you can go. You talented, though. That's a, that's a talent, baby. Da, 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 da. I don't know what you're saying, but, but Chanel listened to it. <laughs> she can interpret it. Y'all talented. These folks know they got talent. They just, they just, they just, y'all be one of 50 people. So I started listening to that stuff. I said, I don't know what y'all don't, what kind of beast y'all don't picked up. What did y'all think about? Y'all got, got something to hunt back to? Shoot, he the bad back up, jump on the rocket. Who got eight tracks coming out? We ain't heard them yet. <clears throat> man said, yeah, I'm finna drop eight tracks. Ain't nobody believe it. So I said, man, I told her, I said, you know how long it take to drop eight tracks? But it sound good. By itself, never help him. But not, but he's talented though. He, now he got some stuff. All y'all got, all y'all got, got talent. All y'all got talent. Y'all don't believe in yourself. Y'all got here, go. Nothing funny, daddy. You get him saying, then you're doing drip somewhere else. My mom, why no doing infection walk around here? Believe in yourself. I be, I don't be want to hear that stuff, man. So I got, I stay outside. I'm stuck. I just start out, y'all, because I don't want to hear it. Cause I know that ain't what you be doing. I'm just being, I don't like no foolishness. That ain't what you believe to do it. Shut your mouth. It's right. It's right. Believe in yourself. Right. We have real conversation. Y'all don't want to be, y'all want to sit and talk to you. Don't to, I'm tell you, tell you, I talk, I keep it real now. I keep it real. I'm serious about what I do now. I know they look at it, we just laugh and play. I'm just being honest. Sit like y'all, you ain't serious. Y'all ain't, and a lot of, I, I told somebody trying to perform a bunch of y'all. I'm telling you why. I watch you. You're a sad sack, you're a crybaby, and you're a whiner. I said, I don't know why y'all keep singing with these people. I wouldn't do it. You know, when the team starts, I said, man, go ahead and get you, go somewhere and try to save somebody. Can't nobody use you. Mm-hmm. Don't make sense. All that sad, sad. Y'all do get them here. Y'all that energy. They're like there. They said, oh, retarded stuff. Get them on. Sing in my way to heaven. <laughs> then go back and go. Then go back and rain man. <laughs> that don't get on my nerve with y'all. I see that same stuff with y'all in him. God telling y'all be all that old stupid stuff. Y'all hear, I ain't talking about it. Every time I jump on, I, I could have sing with everybody. I said, set your behind down somewhere. I'm trying to sing with everybody. Yeah. Well, Boy, don't y'all be all sad, sad, retarded. That guy ain't got common sense. Yeah. But like, what are you up here for anyway? Yeah. Right. Man, what you say, that probably be the life you live. Yeah. That's right. That junk get on my nerve with y'all, all that crying and whining. I be on. I they'll tell. I tell them about it all the time. I say, I'm telling y'all. I be watching y'all out here. Y'all keep pointing these people. These people, y'all, they down. Y'all sometime up, sometime down, almost level to the ground. They ain't my testimony. Yeah. I don't want to hear your story. I'm telling you why I want to listen to a lot of y'all stuff because I'm watching you and I don't want to be like that. Yeah. Oh, they don't like that. I keeps it real. Keep it real. I keeps it real. Mm-hmm. If you, if they, let me, let me, let me, be, let me see how they work. Let me see. <clears throat> okay, I'm watching you. So how well is your stuff working? So what is it going to do for me? See, I know y'all don't think like y'all just ready to jump into something. It's a lifestyle. What's the life you living with what you singing? Mahalia Jackson had a song called I Got to Live the Life I Sing About in my song. I never will forget it. She said, I got to live the life I sing about in my song. She said, I can't go to church and get out on a Monday, go out and get drunk and be sane on a Sunday. She said, I got to live the life I sing about in my song. So y'all got to go to Zamar, I can't get why your life can't reflect what you're putting out. Oh, don't grade me by that. That's retarded. I just going to get, it's retarded. You have no confidence. You have no encouragement for yourself. You're not built up, but you want to sing. That makes no sense. What we put do, we put do this to you who are. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to help y'all out. They, they be worried about that. that he, I had to tell him. No, I'm going to tell you. Then I tell you about that. So I keep it real with all y'all. Everyone, I tell all about that stuff. I say, I don't get it. I wouldn't be interested in it because I see y'all, y'all too many different ways for me. Get serious about what you're doing. Get serious about your living, then you're singing to match up to it. Yes, that hurts y'all feeling. It should. That's right. It is. Y'all probably doing it for your whore. That's right. That kills me when I watch y'all. You don't even watch what you're living. Right. Y'all dead. Down. What are you, I don't get, what am I all sad? What am I doing to read on all sad? I'm hooked up, why I can't get myself together? What is wrong with me? Y- y'all niggas so retarded, y'all just be want to hear something. I, I'm gonna, I be watching y'all in this room. I be watching y'all and stuff. Be probably watch. I said, I'm watching all y'all people. When I tell y'all I'm watching, I be watching y'all. And it, it, it makes sense when I watch your behavior. Because you're good with people faking it because you fake it. Y'all just want to hear something. I don't be want to hear everything. Y'all want the truth? I don't want to be hear everything. 
I want you to live what you're singing. I want you to believe in it. You don't believe in it, I don't believe it either. Write what you believe. Oh, y'all don't like that? That's the truth. So I probably get up here and preach, then I'm going to go out here and hold my gun. That's, no, that's going to be, no, as long as, long as the message encouraging people building them up. That's retarded. Why would I not be living what I'm preaching? If it's got me down, how is it going to lift you up? Because you, you know they worry about, I, I got to jump on with who I, I got to jump on with who I, you know, remember I'm going to jump right in the shield. They'll tell you, I told all of them about that stuff. I said, y'all need to pay attention. Because I'm telling y'all that it make you right. Y'all need to first make sure where you at with your living. Yeah. If y'all doing that for you, who are you doing it for yourselves? Right. Go ahead and tell the truth. For yourselves. Because mm-hmm. about your who, it need to reflect your who. Nobody had to preach I'm going to let you hear something. I said, I don't want to hear it. Why I need to hear it? We don't know already what you need to do. Right. I don't need nobody to hear nothing. I'm all right. Mm-hmm. I already know who it's going to be about. Why would it be anything different? He's not a punchline for me. Well, I'm going to see people let you hear. I've been trying to get it. I don't need to hear. I hear him. You put up. What is it going to be about? What could I possibly be writing about that somebody need to check it first? When I already know who it's supposed to be about. Because he's a punchline. As long as I put him in it. As long as I put it. Who is going to be in it? Who is it going to be about? All y'all do is just tell the truth. Stop trying to rhyme off of something. You're trying to make some rhyme and then look at what is the whole subject matter supposed to be about? I just try to help y'all out. I think y'all waste a lot of time. And the reason why I'm telling y'all that, because y'all so talented. Y'all don't even believe in yourselves. That's the part that scared me. Why you don't believe in yourself? Y'all listen, I appreciate the people that say, preacher, great job, preacher, preacher, good. I've been with y'all. I'm going to do the job the way it goes. I believe in me. I'm being with y'all. I believe in me. I believe in what I'm doing. I'm telling y'all this for a reason. You need to believe in what you're doing. This is why y'all get no effect from this. I started repositioning myself. I started looking at things. What really hindered you from doing what you need to be? When the man was coming back, he was reading the book. He was reading the safari. And the place where he was reading, he wanted to know what does hinder him. He said, you got to believe. You got to believe. A lot of what happened with a lot of y'all, you don't really believe it. I know you're looking at your life, and you should. You should. Look, and he wants you to know, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, me and you, we are failures. Left to ourselves, left to our own invention, we failures. Left to ourselves, left to our own invention, we liars. Left to ourselves, left to poise ourselves, we're going to mess up every time. Left to choice, we're going to pick the wrong choice. That's why we got to put it in his hands. We don't put it in his hand without uh, any obligations of ourselves. Then we got to restrict ourselves. You got to start to restrict yourself. You got to start to consider the importance of what you're trying to do. People just thinking, what if I just do, he going to do. No, you got to make choice. You got to make a choice. You got to make a choice. When Luke was in the city, he, he could have made a choice. Yeah. Make a choice. That's all I, I told the only difference between a homosexual, I don't know why people got to give them, I won't give them nothing. That's, uh, that's a choice. Ain't no sign, ain't no way you were born and no sign. That's retarded. It's a choice. You could look at somebody and say, that's a handsome guy. I ain't got to have sex with that man. I ain't, ain't got to want that man. It's retarded. That's a choice. People keep saying, see, some chemically you retard. Where you getting this stuff from? It's choices. How many times you said, I could strangle that person? Whoever said that before? And how many of y'all strangled them and killed them? Okay, if some people said it and they did it. If some people thought they did it. Now, some of y'all going to jail later. But you know what I'm saying? How many times had, you know what happened? So what stopped you? So when somebody else do it, man, they crazy. They're not crazy. You just don't have to restrict yourself. So guess what you do? You make choices. You're going to either have to value life or you're going to have to sing it and you're going to, or you're going to attract yourself to move. It's choices. All this stuff, people, that mental ill stuff, just stop being stupid. That stuff, get on my done. Now everybody hear that foolishness. The stuff don't exist. You make up stuff in your mind. There are people that really need help, and there are people that use it for a crutch. Mm-hmm. I get sick of that stuff. My past, my nigga, everybody got a past. Yeah. What's your present? Yeah. You'll never get nowhere you keep living off your past. Yeah. You know how much damage I've had in my life? That, that has only formed me to be a better person. 
How, my mistake, they've never been a, they'll hold me to keep me from. That motivate me to keep going, inspire you for better. Because I refuse to let my past hold me. I, I got a past, nigga, this, hold, everybody look at, hold on, hold on. That's three seconds. Guess what? Nigga, you got a pass. <laughs> now get to moving to your future unless you're going to die. Yeah. Quit making them sorry, stupid excuse. I get sick of y'all with that jump. Yeah. Always let somebody kiss your butt. I'm not going to pick you. I pick up or drop you straight through some glass. Because <laughs> it's irritating. It's people out here that really dealing with real issues and y'all looking for excuses. Yeah. Who shouldn't come to give us no excuse? The excuse is out of the way. Time for you to get up and get grown got these kids falling behind us. I don't care what happened to you in your past. Eventually, you're going to have to start making your, you're going to start making preservation for your future. Otherwise, you're never going to get ahead. Now, I've seen all kind of stuff. I've been through all kind of stuff. I've dealt with all kind of stuff. None of that stuff have nothing to do with me and for me going forward. I look at that. Those are life lessons that I achieved, mistakes I made that I can help come to another young man or young daughter to keep her from making them. A lot of these people in here, they'll use their mistakes that they want you to make them so you can be in the same rut they in. Watch people make excuses. Watch them. Get away from around them. You'll never make them. they losers. So they tell it to you, say, so I know what's wrong. That's what you do. You say, you're a loser. And leave them right there. You're a loser. I'm just telling you, nobody, nobody deal with this. That's why a lot of them don't go nowhere. That's why a lot of them friends, they losers. They like losing. They like the excuses. They like folk pity party. I don't have them. I ain't got time for them. You're a loser. I hope it hurts you, cut you deep too. You're a loser. Making all them excuses. Man, get up and make your way. I don't make excuses. Make a way. Anything, that's how you build from it. Y'all got it. You build from it. How many of y'all made mistakes? Guess what? How many of y'all know how you made the mistake? How many know y'all why you made a mistake? Don't do it again. Learn from it. I can't get past. I made a mistake. Keep living. You're going to make another one. I tell people the truth. Y'all said, I went to Fogo. I tried to hold out and get home. I went to that bathroom and I was just an honor. And I meditated too. I said, I did. Because I, I tried to, y'all want the truth. I tried to ask him for stuff. Because I be going to ask him about real stuff. I did pray for something for y'all. That's why I know it got to happen. Because he don't ask for stuff. And I asked about that bathroom thing. I said, I like to try, to, but I like to like to ask, but not ask like, you know, in my mind I'm saying, I like to make it. You know what I'm saying? I, went, I popped that door, because I, I said, I walk in that door, and everybody right there, I'm done. I popped that door open. I said, nobody, I seen a big stall. I said, somebody gonna be in that little one. That thing open. I said, yes. I popped in there, I said, I made I said, I said, I said, I, 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 said, I, I said, I said, that's an egg. I ain't lying, I did. I said, oh my, that thing, I said, God damn I grabbed one, I said, I'm gonna tear these draw. And it moved. I said, hold on for a minute now. Wait a minute. This might not be bad as it look. I looked at it, I got that tension. I said, if I grab this egg right, and I ease down, and I got that little egg up, and dropped, I said, and it ain't no stain either. I said, that's an egg. I have just, I always get my paper towel, wet them up real good, come and wipe the seat in, time one coming. I said, this one of them shooters. But since that last time having them peeing, I learned how to aim. Don't do this. This bad. You got to do this. If you do this, bad. This, safe. Bad, safe. So I saw that egg, I got it out, I cleaned it. I said, ain't gonna hurt nobody. <laughs> Clean up good. I said, I just keep this to myself. You know what I'm saying? Cause no harm, no foul. Something told me I got here, I said, you gotta tell it. Whether you known it, you done seen it or heard about it. I said, now Tony, did you see that egg? I said, I seen that egg. But I'm gonna tell you why I tell you about that. And, and I know I say things in a humorous way. And I'm truthful with things. You're a person, you're gonna make mistakes. That does not take away from the character of the person I am. It wasn't intentional. You're a human being. I'm not saying that to justify it, but you're gonna make mistakes. What do we do? We learn how to come to it to do better. 
He show you things to show me the reason why. Don't ever think too much of yourself. Don't get so comfortable with your relationship that you're thinking that you're close enough to me that everything just works. It just makes me to consider the more. That listen, when you least they think it, trouble come. That's why you got to keep, see, you won't see it. I know what you're thinking. I'm going to fail you. I'm going to Sheol. That's why you ain't my friend. That's why you're not my friend. You'll take me down. I'm a man. Listen, he told you in the book of your cause of call. He told you, listen, he told he said, you was in the gun. Though you set your heart as Allahim. He said, you a man and you not Allahim. I need to know that. That I am a man and I am prone and subject to mistakes. They don't have to be sin mistakes. But that does not change my relationship. In that I adore you the more. I still learn how to appreciate it out of the midst of it. Not you. I knew I wasn't going to be saved. I knew I wasn't right. I knew I was going to Sheol. How did you come up with all that? How did you come up with all that? This was repairable. Me first, I'm thinking, draw ripping. And what was bad, this them draw where the line ain't right there. So you got to make a hard way. I said, I'm finna be sweating in him. Boy, won't he make a way. When that egg rolled, I said, there it is. <laughs> Had that egg not rolled, I'd still be in that stone now. That ain't well preaching. I'm almost there. I'm saying that to say, why, why you count everything that happened you with, you, you wrong and you gonna burn? The average, you, you create your own downfall. You the biggest hole up in your life. The reason I told you a loser, I used to be you. You look for, you want an excuse for you to sit back and sit and wallow in your sadness. You a loser. I want you to feel bad about it. I ain't feel bad. You think I tell you about it? Y'all think I feel sad about that head? And if another one come, I'll let you know. Y'all hear? I'll let you know because it ain't going to take nothing from me. At the end of the day, I refuse. Let me tell you something. I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm saying that. You might say, he go. No, I'm just trying to get you to understand. You are a human being. Things are going to happen. Yo, every day ain't going to be your best day. Why you got to count it as it's sin? How you think I learned to appreciate? Sometimes he got to let something happen. So I learned to appreciate. But, the, you know, when you keep going by yourself, you keep going, you keep going. You don't think nothing about this. Somehow you can't go. You say, well, I appreciate you for being able to go. I appreciate it because I made it. From the time when I didn't make it, ain't time I did it, from when times I didn't make it, it made me appreciate it when I make it. But not you, nigga, because you a loser. You look for a reason to quit. Instead of, I learned to appreciate. I learned to appreciate. Like they said, look, I learned, my health street, he let me borrow this. This on, this on loan. This on loan. Everything I got on loan. So every now and then he got to do that to me because you ain't going to believe it. Tony, the reason you ain't make it, I had somebody else had to make it. Somebody else need to make it. But he fixed it well. You still came out all right. See, you, that's it's even swamp. Yeah. Come on. How do you think I make it? Right. Somebody else didn't make it. <laughs> huh? So don't, ain't it fair when it come back around sometimes, he said, you ain't make it, but I still made sufficient. Because right. yeah. we don't think like that. I just got the all way here. I got the all way, man. I got the, because you're a selfish individual. You're a loser. Yeah. Yeah. You don't think about nobody but yourself. You don't think that man got a whole world to run. He gonna run it around you. Right. That man got a whole world to run. Why I got a, everything gonna evolve around you? Right. Why don't you learn how to coexist with it? Yeah. That's even with the word plan. Somebody else, he, he Barack or somebody else, guess what? It gotta work with you. Listen, who in here for to come up and it ain't gonna benefit us? Right. Where you gonna be at? What, where your, what pew? I'm gonna set it pre right beside you. Right. And when them light go out. <laughs> It's going to be bad for you. When you when them light come back on, you come through, and you see everybody here jeweled up, and what they call that, drip, drip. And we dripped out, and we like, man, we don't know what happened. And you ain't got nurse, not that nursing. Listen, it got to benefit us. Learn how to not to always be so separate when things happen for other people. When your time comes, you do the same thing. You want the same thing, reciprocate. He'll let the same thing happen for you. Y'all so, some of y'all so hateful. You don't want to see each other. 
Make it a do better. You just, just be honest. Sometimes grab each other, you real friends, slap piss out of them. Say, quit it. Y'all no good with some of y'all just sad. Just sad, oh sad nigga. Oh sad, mad, beat up nigga. Life just terrible for you, and life ain't bad. You make it bad. Right. So you got to start setting back and consider. What's the most important thing at the end of the day? My salvation. Mm -hmm. My salvation, the most important thing I got. That's the most pressing thing I got in my life, my salvation. I don't mind telling people about my fault. That's the truth. People won't write books and tell you that. I write a book and tell them I laid an egg, mm -hmm. and I won the golden goose. Mm -hmm. People need to know the truth. Because you know what people do? First thing they start out with something don't go right. You know what they're saying? See, I knew it wasn't going to work. Stop thinking like a loser. Listen, things have to work out in a way and to get you to trust them. I had to get to a point where I trust them. I mean, you can trust them when things work out. But when things don't work out to the way I would like them to work out, still trust them. Because it's always a lesson in it. It's always a benefit. You just got to look. Some people can't see it because they ain't looking for it. It's a lesson, whatever he had me to do. It's always something. They say, I don't think like that. Look at what you read. Look at what you put most of your time in. Look at what you're trying to, look at your desires. Yeah. Daniel sang a beautiful song, My Desire. Mm -hmm. He said it's to read books and novels mm -hmm. and to watch documentaries. Mm -hmm. It's to give you who or my what? For a chance to be with you, what you do? I gladly give it all. You got to make up your mind. What you want to do? What do you want to do? Don't just see. What do you really want to do? Folks, I know we talk tonight. I know you. We, but the reason I'm talking to y'all, this is not practical. I want y'all to be, I want to be honest with y'all for a go. The reason why we're not talking, because this is really not in your grasp. You don't think like this. You don't think like this because of what you pollute yourself with. Listen, you can have fun, you can laugh, you can live, but there has to be a discipline. There has to be a call to order. There's got to, listen, there's got to be reasoning in what you're doing. Listen, if you trust that man for what he say he'll do, yeah, yeah, it's endless what he does for you. It's, I'm telling you what I got, and I'm proud of more than anything, my, my, my peace of mind. My serenity, my relationship, I, I value that so much above everything. You know what I'm saying? I, <sighs> Yahuwah put him in place to show me. You know, I heard that many times, a little that a righteous man have. Yeah. When you have to loan a billion that money. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't asked to borrow nothing. They laugh. Who, who in here know I'm telling the truth? You know what Yahuwah show you? I show you got more than he got. Unlike y'all sad niggas, you don't even know what you got. Y'all the saddest niggas I've ever seen in my life. Because you're too busy to worry about other things. You know what I made it known? I got witnesses. I said, I don't need nothing. I meant it. I don't need nothing. Bro. I, listen, I made it known. I don't need nothing. I'm, I'm rich in a whole lot of ways. Y'all know what? I got a piece of mind. That, that, man, I don't talk through my bed. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, what's going on? I feel like I ain't gonna make it. I don't. I'm in a good place. Yes, That's important to me. You're not in a good place and you worry about too many other things. Yeah. On that screen, I know what's going on with you. You're not in a good place. I know what you're thinking. I got all this, I got all this. You ain't got nothing. You got what he give you. And he gonna take that from you. Yeah. Cause you hadn't realized you need to fix your relationship. That's what's important. I learned my relationship. Everything else, it's just, it's a happening. You were, listen, think about who, 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 what, what safety, what safety protocol your uh, school got to keep your kids safe? <laughs> he, you know what? Yahuwah got a, he got a bag full of long gunmen. When he get ready, he owe me a bag. He put one right down. You got, the, you got tomorrow. Yours today. You know what? Y'all a team. Ain't but one person keeping you. Huh? He keep, you know, he keeps saying all them cell phones, you know how they're talking about you sign them, you get a free cell phone. You who got cell phones, he, get, he said he go, he said, text while you driving. And that person looking down there, and that, that thing a camera, and it coming head on for you. You who got a lot of things that you ain't even consider. You don't even think about a lot of stuff you don't took. While you mumming and grumbling, complaining about what you got going on, you don't realize what you should have. You should be dead. 
Every one of us, but you don't spend your time looking like a retard and acting like a retard, and you have no idea. He don't watch on you. He don't, but he got somebody praying for you. Whole time while you on stupid via, who pull out for you? Most of y'all too stupid to pull out for yourself. What pull out you got that gonna get through? You inconsistent, you disobedient, you don't follow direction. What, what that prayers you be praying? Cause I, I needed that gone pray. And it's working pretty good for you too. Look how you living. Y'all do real good if you just learn to sit down and just redirect. Just, let's just reconstruct what we've been doing. Let's just go back over what we've been doing. All of us. Let's just go back and reconstruct what we've been doing. How we've been looking at things. Let's fix it. Because we, we got Because you keep working from where you're at and it ain't a good place. It's not a good place. Things don't make contentment. That's Donald Trump. Yeah. They just ruled the day he got paid 350 something. Oh, yeah. You, you, I, I, had one, I got one of his ties. But I'm glad I ain't tied in that $354 million you got to pay. <laughs> how happy you think he is right now? Right. Oh, he going to get some donors going to give it, but how long for these people going to quit? Because they don't gave money for other stuff too. Eventually, you know who going to show you? Your people going to get tired and say, you know what? See, all this stuff, y'all idolize on him, he pulling them down. Yeah. Yeah. All these folks, the only reason he fought it because of you people. Because you idolize everybody you see with something, you just naturally think everybody doing right. People not doing right. You gotta get your mind set. You see, people, listen. I don't, listen, I don't go around saying, "Oh, they doing wrong." They got. I don't really. I don't care. <laughs> I just know what I'm doing, yeah. and I ain't no fool. I know what these people doing. Yeah. You gotta set your affection on things above. That's right. That don't mean you don't want to have things while you here, but you prioritize. What's the most important? My relationship. Yeah. I don't mind things. I don't want things in the way of my relationship. I don't want things to come in and be a solid for salvation. See, where you come in at, you say, if I could get him, I'd be better. Let me see. You're a transgressor. You're a murmuring, grumbling, complaining, and a hypocrite. And if you get things, you'll be better. I just got to study that one, an exo and iso. Because you got to be bone retarded to believe that. Your problem is not the things, the problems are you. Because you hadn't learned how to fix your relationship. You didn't have learned how to get out of yourself. And he needs you to see yourself. Don't think it's a bad thing. You need to see yourself. How do you think I made the changes I made? You can't until you see yourself. Huh? You ever had somebody tell you you got something like right here or something? And you try to get it, you can't get it. What you had to do sometime? What? Hold on for a minute. Y'all had to do that too. Why you had to go to the mirror? So you could see it. You ain't going to believe it. Why are you him? So you can see yourself. So you can see why it makes sense why you're in a rut. You can see why it makes sense why you've been held back. It's the way you process things. It's because of how you're trying to do things. It's only one right way to do it. And everybody got to do it the same way. See, the goal is for all of us to get this right. These people here too. These young people, these other people listen. A lot of people going to say here, they're going to be long time listeners. They ain't going to be never people they're going to add and fully commit. But that happens that way. You got to have that. There were a lot of people with Yahushua. They didn't fully commit either, but they were there. See, it's all about where you at and what you're trying to do. You got to get past where you've been. You, you, you reach a certain spot and you good with where you're at, but it ain't good enough to create the relationship. You can't really get a real peace of mind with it because you won't go to first. You keep using other people. I don't use none of them. I'll hug about y'all. I use absolutely none of y'all for degrade myself. I don't use y'all to say, that, that means my relationship will cause you. I don't know where you at and how far you go. I know what I'll do. Go figure. Go figure. Y'all got it. I'm just being honest. I know how far I'll go. Some of y'all look at, well, I made the trip here, and as far as you'll go. You got to go somewhere further than him. You got to be able to meet him in the air. That's going to come with a lifestyle. You know, let me tell you how stuff works. I'll try to get ready to let y'all go. They got this thing. Ryan, um, what's that, you, um, the subject you teach again? History, science, science. I'm trying to think. History. Okay, come on, 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 big man, come on, big man. We're not doing this. Come on, this, this what that man doing? How many of y'all knew about this? Dang, come on, come on. So we keep the secrets now. Right, yeah. can you good? You, when I called Dan, you thought you were saying that man, that, that man just said what that lean better. So, something about for a second. So, so I'm going to ask you, um, the other subject you teach beside history is science. Yes, sir. That's your main one. Correct. 
Cause I'm thinking about history like how you ain't told me about that in the past. Okay. History. <laughs> I know they're saying, why can't got that check? Ron, Ron, where you want? Ron, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? So let me ask you a question. Let me hit my own. Um, I know just um, writing in front of writers so far, and he talked about how um, about laying aside. What was that again? Well, let's say weight. every weight. So, typically with weight, what is like weight is kind of what keeps it down. What's the thing called science? They have a scientific terminology what keeps things kind of grounded. What is Mass, that? Mass gravity. Mass gravity. Gravity is like a weight keep. Is uh, what is it like a? Um, what I'm gonna get? What I guess kind of what would they call gravity? I guess if you kind of define it out, or what would be an easy way to call it gravity? What makes it keep down? Force that holds, Force it, down. That holds it down. So probably laying aside every weight mm -hmm. and seeing that will probably take away the gravity. Correct. Because we got to meet him in the air. Correct. Okay, I was stepping out. That's fine. See, you, you wouldn't catch nothing like that, would you? Why he would want you to lay aside every weight? Why he would have you to forsake all others? You don't know why, because that's gravity. And we got to meet him in it. Oh, 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 now you kind of catching on. Let me see. My kids, what's that? I die with my kids. She said she ain't here. Gravity. Cover for him, gravity. Uh, love him more than you need to love him, gravity. Things about relationship more, these are gravity. This gravity, this mass, weight. Why do they want you to lay it aside? Lay it aside. Lay it aside. And you guys don't realize why you in your condition, what's, gonna hold, what's holding you back? It's because of the gravity. It's the things you've attached yourself to. These are weights. Every weight. Every weight. How am I meeting me every weight? How's it going to work? You're not. And guess what? So we know this. So what you think keeping me right here on the ground right now? And when I try to defy, what happened? That's your testimony. You tried, but it pulled you right back down because you're still holding to something. It's gravity. And you ain't going to be able to execute in the day when you come. See, as we're learning, we're learning how many different things we got to be able to cut away. Life and stuff. Well, I don't want to get married. I don't want to do this. I don't have a weight. You, there are things he's given us that we can have in this life. He's given to it. You just got to learn how to place set things. Things have a place. And because people don't understand the place, it kind of holds you back. You got to understand the relationship. Like our kids, people, you're supposed to love your kids in real, but you can't make them no Elohim. Some of us place it. I told someone how you date your kid. They all up on you. You got to know where to keep people. Y'all got, you got to know where, and even kids, they got to know where to keep them. Even when they came to your house, when their mother came to him at the wedding, you know what he told them? He want to know what I got to do with you. Because he was looking at his eye one. So at a certain point in time, I gotta look at, at we have to separate our relationship from where it was. And sometimes you gotta learn how to, and y'all don't help him with that as well. He realized my relationship. When they came down to him to die. You saw he he got her to come up there with him and hold on to this, hold on. He said he told her, he said, I wrote a song for you, mama. Remember that? You told no, he told you, you can undertake it. Except from that point, so that became his mother. He looked at that man, I gotta get ready to go. And a lot of y'all hold on to stuff, that's why you ain't gonna be able to leave. Not to go where you need to go. Cause you stuck on another destination. It ain't helping y'all out talking tonight. I'm just helping y'all out. You fear, like fear. I know Dan told me he like like fear, but you broke one fear by coming. That was a big. I know that was a, a challenge to do it, but that's what we're going to do. Fear don't just change until you do something to go against it. That's what I'm just being honest. There's always a fear when you don't do when you do something for the first time. Till you become more, you know, knowledgeable of it. You come uh, more uh, uh, susceptible to it. You understand, you know, the balances. You understand the weights of it. You understand the dynamics of the fear. You realize it's there, but it don't hold me back from doing it. I have a lot of fears. None of them keep me from doing what I'm supposed to do, though. And I have to have them. You know why? Because you got to break those phobias. You hear these folks? I ain't got no fear. You talking to a retard. You got to have fear. That's what he told me my wisdom started at. I got to have fear. But he look at, I want to see, can you go past that fear and do what I told you? And a lot of you can't. That's a problem. Y'all got it? Because that fear restricts you. You have to have the relationship. You have to have the mindset. You have to have the belief that fearing him has to be above that fear. 
and you don't know how to play set your field, so you get tangled. But then he said, feel the beginning of wisdom. It's also the beginning of stupidity. And it also ended. So you have to understand, yes, he's not going to remove fears I have. If 15, 20 people coming to fight me, why? I said, I ain't fear no 20. That's, that's not common sense. It's more of them than it with me than Yahuwah said, but it, I'm more than all of them. So I want you to go past the fear you have. I'm not going to remove that fear. I want to see whether you fear me enough to go past that fear. They so dumb. Get rid of all my fears. That makes you a retard lunatic. I need no fears. And then it, it begins to show me that I fear him more than that. You too busy praying for him. How many of y'all pray for him? Or you want him to just kind of, you had that mindset of him getting rid of your fears. Why would he do that? Who wouldn't do it if they have no fear? Who wouldn't do it? I need somebody to be a regular person, yet trust me, when I say me, him, enough to get past themselves and do what I told them. You keep thinking he got to remove something in order to do it. When Shaul told him that he had a thorn in his flesh, and he said he besought Yahuwah to remove it. You know what he told him? He said, my con is sufficient. He said, my strength is made perfect in weakness. I get up here, y'all know I can't read and write. Y'all see what he let me get up here and do? Very intelligently. Because he need me to work past. You know, he not, he not, he said, I'm not going to give you nothing more than what you have. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. I want you to work past your fears. I want you to go past that. I'm going to show you how this is going to work. Hello? Yes, sir. But you won't see that way. That's how it works. But you got to fear him enough. Your fear got to be to do what he told you to do above what you have for other people. Most of y'all fear above other people. That's why y'all crashes come in. You fear other people. That's what happened with Yahushua when they had him. Why the people wouldn't acknowledge him? Because they love the praise of men. More than I, and they also, they feared being put out the synagogue. They should acknowledge him. Every knee going to bow, every tongue going to confess him. But they believe, but fear. That's, you, that's where you at. That's why on the job you give in. That's why you compromise, because you fear them. That's why you got to look like them. That's why you got to talk like them, because you fear them. And that's why you ain't going to be able to go up. That's gravity. Yeah. Hello? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Did this help y'all out? Yes, Because I'm just, we, if we're going to get better, we're going to get better with the truth. Man, you heard show me, I've, I've thought a lot of things I've needed in my life to have completeness. I've come to learn that things don't make you complete. It's your relationship. It really is. And then you, you might not ever get rich. You might not ever get things. But you can get a place and a relationship that will sustain you above everything else. He, he, he can fix your life and fix your way to where... You got a confidence in it. I tell him something. I, I said, it's got to work for me. I mean, whoever heard me say it before? I probably said it one time. You probably heard me say it one time. I said, it got to work for me. It, if it don't work, it got to work. Because it, it can only be going one way. Because I know, I already know what my relationship, I already know what my purpose is. My purpose ain't just for me. My, I have a purpose. I have a goal in mind. I have an intent in mind. And it definitely build up what he got. So I know it's got to work for me. It ain't going to work for you because you got a different intent. You got to start changing your intent of why you're trying to do it. And, and, and don't get me wrong, we people. So naturally, it's things you want. You got a family, it's things you want for you. It's things you want, it's things you're going. And that's fine, but I got to make sure this is the most pressing, most important thing, my relationship, my commitment with him. That, that, that's something you're going to have to look at. Like I've slept on this, like you're sleeping now, because you got a lot of things pressing. But you don't realize this is the thing you have to consider. There were two sisters that sat down with um, Yahushua came in the house. And one was serving while one sat. And she came and she asked Yahushua, did he not even care how she had been serving and had been going? And her sister just sat down. He said, you know, Martha, she chose that good thing. She chose to sit down and look at this is more pressing than what you're doing. You got to start putting in your mind what's more important for you. Otherwise, you know what you're going to do? You're going to play the game. You keep running and chasing, and you're never achieving. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to raise your hand. I already know most of y'all do that because you got to start placing. What's the most important? Most important thing got to be him. Most important thing got to be his relationship. Most important thing got to make sure you got this solidified. I keep, I, I tell you, I tell you, I said, the end is near. I, I ain't seen no change out, y'all, and I wasn't expecting it. I said, well, I put it out there. I ain't seen no change, and that's fine. 
Because that's where you at. That's what you bought into. At least let me say to the kids. Y'all not, listen, I'm, I'm good with decisions y'all make. And I take the ones I can. Can I please at least say to the kids? Give the kids a chance. You guys have sold out to where you at, and that's where you at, and that's fine. Because nobody's going to convince you otherwise. At least let these kids get a chance. Why y'all young, young people? Believe me, I know it sounds like a broken record when I'm telling y'all, but I'm really trying to help y'all. Don't throw it away. Y'all got a great opportunity. And, and show, he'll harp their bow. They don't know he'll harp them. You know how I know? Because he's chosen y'all. That's how I know a harp y'all. He chose you. That's, how, that's why I always refer back to the Abo, Abraham, because he'll harp them. You ain't going to believe it. That's how I know he chose. Eddie people, yeah, Jesus love me. Yeah, Jesus. They don't know what they're saying. They're reciting song. I know what the book's saying. I know he'll harp the Abo. That's why he chose me. And you got to know why, but you don't, you don't see that. You don't believe that. And that's fine. That's why your relationship where it's at. This is, this is the thing I try to close. You have to be willing to set these things aside. That opposition that you are, not other people. Um, no difficult things that you kind of put yourself into and use for your excuse for why. I don't, I don't buy, for the record, any of y'all, I, buy, I haven't bought one story you told me. I never bought it. But if you think I did, that's fine, okay? I never buy, I don't buy any of that stuff because it's all about choices. At the end of the day, I really believe that it's all about choices, okay? Everybody has had some defect, fault happening in their life. And at some point, you just got to get realistic. Is it happening to you right now? How many of y'all have had some bad thing happen in your life before? How many of y'all is happening to you right now? Okay. Siri, your hand took that long to come down. She's trying to wave it their way. Create. You create it in your mind. So y'all create, y'all create your own, you create your own stuff. And you had to be careful about things like that. We all had things. I'm just being honest with you. It's a part of life. This is life. Life. This is life. Listen, there's nothing better lived than life than life eternal. Why y'all think people don't want to die? Ain't nothing better than life, but life eternal. What you think he came to offer us? Modell? You got to offer life. <laughs> What's better than living? What, are the, what is the promise? <laughs> so what's the, what is he trying to tell you? There's nothing better than living. Who got, cha- who got a chance? The, not the dead? There is nothing better than life. You are so stupid that you sit here and want to die. What is wrong with you? There's nothing better. The man didn't come off, he came off your life. He said more abundant. There's nothing better than living. The living has a chance. So where I made mistakes, I'm living. Guess what I have? A chance. Why would you be so boneheaded and stupid and quit when you're living? Who does that? That's the only chance you got. Y'all people just, stuff y'all do, it's just, it's beyond mental retarded. Because I don't get it. Y'all look for these excuses. Everybody got something happen. Everybody dealt with something. But let's, all that stuff, that stuff has Absolutely zero to do with me achieving anything. Those are past. Shaul said, leaving those things behind, in the past, behind, and doing what? Now I'm pressing toward the mark. You ain't got no mark. They don't just have people ready. If me and you ready, typically what we're going to do? We're just going to run if one get tired. What are we going to run to? You know why they, you guess why they quit? We don't know where to start. We don't know where to stop it. Man, I got a finish line. Know what you're running for? <laughs> that makes no sense. There's got to be a goal. When you shoot, where you trying to put? Where you trying to put the basket at? Goal. Woo! <laughs> goal? Are you serious? You trying to put in the goal? That's the object. That's right. To get it in the goal. What is wrong with y'all people? I don't know. I just woo. Y'all scary. Y'all just scary. Scary. It's scary how y'all. Mentally take things and put yourself in these captivating issues of just quit, failure, I'm nothing. That's crazy. I'm nothing compared to what he offers. I'm nothing. He made me something. Y'all got it? He set his affection on something. That's what he made man from. He said, I take him for dust, but I made him something because he put his, he put his breath in him. 
Know your value, people. Why? The man saw a harp the alarm that he gave the only begotten son. And whoever believed, whoever. I believe. It ain't nothing. Stop it. That's stupid. Who is whoever? Nothing? Got to be somebody. Man said, if I believe, the man said, he give me a long, a long. He know he's saying nothing better than living, so I'll give it to you a long time, long time. Huh? Long time. And you know I did it? He's because I ain't willing you should perish. That's what I want. I don't want you to perish. Willing. Won't. Rasan. Y'all said Rasan. I don't want you to perish. That's what I want. Well, way to come to what would you have? What'd you like to eat? You know what I'm asking you? I'm asking you what you want. And you're gonna tell me. That's what he told me. That's why he don't want me to parry. You know, you know how he ain't gonna parry? Because I'm gonna get him what he wants. I just take his orders. You know how you're gonna parry? Because you're gonna take orders. What was his order? I, he done told me. That's why he told me. <laughs> don't make sense. Hold on, I'm gonna try to read your mind. I, I'm thinking, and I'm gonna get it wrong. The better thing is, let him tell me so I can get it right. Yeah. What is your problem? What is your problem? The man done told you what he want. How you get it wrong? Yeah. He said, because I don't want you to parry. I don't want you to read my mind. Death figure. Look at me. What you thinking? What you thinking? What you thinking? What you thinking I want? Be like, man, that's retarded. I, that's crazy. Why don't you just tell me? That's what he did. Do what I want. I don't want you to parry. Because you do it wrong, you're going to wind up dying. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. I, <laughs> I really hope we're getting this. Because I really think y'all y'all a great group of people. I just think y'all fool around a lot. I, I really do. I think y'all made some terrible decisions. I think y'all do the dumbest stuff i ever seen when y'all getting great information. Y'all yeah. on that same thing? Great information. Ivan showed up night good one, and then Ivan. Ivan said he was sitting around, he was trying to help out. Ivan, you got to save yourself. That first thing I do, set your affection on things above, not on things on the right. Everybody, that, that, damn, that man like it's too high. Can you see, like he got Chinese eyes. Oh, okay, don't, don't get nobody sick. Yeah. That's everybody. All of us in here, set your affection. Set your affection, set your priorities. That's say about you. Who will take care of everything? Huh? See, I'm telling you what happened. A lot of times you got to have your confidence in there. You who are gonna, if you do what he do, he's going to take care of it anyway. You can stay there and stuff not work out. You can be the worst thing happen. That being out, let me tell you, help all y'all out, really. Because this is, he did what typically what we do. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. You know why he gave you the book? Because I want you thinking and I don't want you stinking. Because when you're thinking and it's wrong, it's a stink in his nostril. That's why Yahushua had a sweet smelling savor, aroma. Because he wasn't thinking. I know exactly what his will was. You're trying to guess and figure, and this is why you're sending problems. This is why you're sitting where you're at. Your thinking and how you configure is problematic. We want to fix the problem by let's stop trying to figure and guess. Let's just look and see what he said. Let's just ask him. When Hoosier told you to plot, what did he say? Let me say, I be new, our father, which our father, which our is Shamim. What else? Could Dash be your name separated? Thy Malku come. Hold on, hold on. Thou what be done? Hold on, let me guess. Like, well, only a right. See, you ain't gonna believe what your book based off of. What goes on in Shamim? How else would you know? So you just pray the prayer to tell him it will be done on the right like it is in Shami. So exactly what's going on up there? It's in your book. That's what the whole thing is based off of. Wow. Well, there you go again. Again, just showed you not that clever. You just recite stuff. I told you it was a recite. I told you not a thinker. That's why I'm here. Low icon. That makes absolutely no sense. So what goes on up there? Oh, no. That's why you don't know what's going on down here. See? There's a problem. Try to help you out. See? You thought you were smart, then you? You're really not because you locked in your head. Come out your head and think. Man just told you to say that. So what you need to know about? You know about documentaries. You know about books. You know about movies. But you don't know what's going on in Shaman. And you just said it will be done up there like it is down here. So what is that going on up there? Okay, there you go. That's our thought. Well, that's why we're here. So we'll start taking our time. We'll start looking at things a little differently.
That's what we'll do. We'll try to look at things a little differently because it's going to be to a benefit. If you're asking something, you at least know what you're asking. You at least need to know the order. And you know, there's definitely a deficit as y'all doing stuff. You, you need to know what you're doing. No, right, I'm giving let y'all go. I know y'all don't like me. Before I get to go, how how we doing up here on the screen? How y'all doing? Yeah. Did it help y'all out any? Anybody up there? Did it help you out? If it didn't help y'all, it ain't no big thing. I can't help everybody. Did it help you out? I appreciate it. What about my next screen? How we doing up there? How everybody doing? Did it help out? I appreciate all y'all. I mean that. I hope y'all. I know they might look at our fuss. I'm going to tell you what. My goal is, is not to fail you guys because the man I work for did so much for you guys. And it would be a travesty and atrocity for me to sit here and make a mess out of what this man did for you guys. I fuss at all of y'all because I care and I know he cares more. To put you on the lob of a person all the time to consider, to worry about you, to worry about your kids, worry about your family, worry about your situation, worry about what you got going, you ain't gonna believe it. I got my own stuff that I have the back burner because I gotta make sure you guys have. And that's fine, I ain't complaining. That's the kind of Elohim you have. You guys don't even consider that he puts you on the law for somebody when you're not at your best, how many of y'all are you not at your best? It's not something you don't have your best days. No, no, in hand. Sometimes you're trying to maybe get it together. Guess who can't do that? I got to be on point. Because I got to be palawing for that. That's because of him. I can't keep myself. He said, I got to keep you on point because I got to have you focused. Because these are the people. I'm, do y'all know what it's like? I work for a man that... Um, Definitely Sadiq, right? So definitely Sadiq, everything. Um, it's absolutely nothing for him to destroy me in an instant, in a, just because of you guys. Did y'all know that contingent with their job? Listen, I could be thrown away in a second. Listen, all that stuff, listen, none of that make no difference. You guys are that important to him. I got to be good with that. I got to be good with how he see fit. He feel fit. Say, listen, the old people there have angered me. You're going to have to suffer for that. I got to be able to take that. That's how much he'll harm you. That he'll put your affliction, he'll put your trouble, he'll put your sorrow on somebody else. So when I see y'all hold on to it to do it, I'm, I'm definitely irritated because I look at he paid the way for you. For you not to be that person, y'all, and you willing to sit back and you do it anyway. Y'all scare me. When Yahushua came, he was acquainted with it. And grief. He was stricken. And he was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our shalom was on him. You should have been beat. Put it on him. That's what he did for you. And you still a sad sack of crap. You know the other word. When somebody paid for that and you willingly sit here and you go against it, what you think ought to happen to you? I'm just being honest with y'all. We, we're terrible people. Just terrible people. Y'all don't even consider what the man did for you. He put you on the heart of somebody. Y'all don't care, but let me tell you something. And I tell you, this, you know, is that, do y'all understand y'all can live y'all life to y'all leads your kids? None of y'all have a responsibility I have or what I got to make sure it happens. Nobody, nobody does. When people don't, they got to have, this ain't something you sit around and worry about. I got to get it this up. I got to make sure they have. I got to make sure they have. I got to make sure this working out. I got to make sure. You just have to make sure yourself. You probably going to say, hey, preacher, I give you something on it. You know who's going to have to do it? all of it? He put that on one person's heart. Just to show y'all, it's one all he care about you. I ain't putting it against nobody. It, it, it should be. And you will put it on me to let me know. You just imagine, smell. This is all you got to worry about. I got all this. And I got people, I got to put this on people's heart. I got people, I got to, listen, I got to put it on their heart. It got to be, listen, and they got to be pressing. I got to have it pressing on them, hard press. Or moose. Burdensome. But it's a good, but you know, you ain't gonna, I'm telling you no lie now. They light though. I ain't going to lie to you. It burn light. 
He yoke easy. That's why I can do it. I ain't, oh, I ain't pray. Y'all see how I be breaking out crying and say I can't hardly make it? I'm about to get you and believe it because it burned light. You know what I'm saying? They'll be telling man, I'm burdensome. I can tell you the truth. He burned light and he yoke easy. I ain't got no hard It ain't hard on me to follow. He made it easy on me too. Y'all hear me? He said, I'm going to make it light on you, but it's going to be a burden. Y'all got it. So, and, I, and then when I see y'all not do it, I, y'all need to hear this tonight. The type of people y'all are, you're terrible people. They ain't every individual. Y'all terrible people. Y'all slump, sorry, stupid, retarded, come just, just dumb stuff. Y'all do the dumbest stuff I ever seen. It's beyond dumb. Just stu- it's, it's over stupid. When you look at a man did all that for you. When you want to give up, you want to quit. You want to die. He put on somebody's heart to say, pray for him to live. You know what I mean? Listen, y'all don't even know. That, listen, I pray for you. You will live. Y'all don't even know I pray for you. If he let you win with your mind, you should have been cut off. He put down the heart of somebody to make intercession. Just like Yahushua. That's how I understand it. I made intercession for you. Y'all hear that? That's what Yahushua doing. He put on somebody's heart and said, make intercession. Now y'all don't cross lines. You should be dead. Now y'all should be dead. You should be dead. All of you, you should have been dead. And you don't even realize somebody made intercession for you. Somebody intercede for you. Let me tell you, I had a, and just think about something. I sent, a, I sent out a video to y'all. Uh, took a bus start laughing. <laughs> said, first of all, man, Mike don't want to be your friend. Mike don't, you'll never be better than Mike. Mike came and took your city. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Got told him, sir. You remember yeah. when you were almost out of him? You remember you called me and I called the commissioner? Oh, I forgot about that. He said, you remember? Some of y'all don't get it. Don't even worry about it. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Sometimes the folk you laughing at, you criticizing, you don't realize I made intercession for you. That was a story by Isaiah Thomas. Charles Oakley was running him down. About him trying to be Michael Jordan's friend, how Michael Jordan was better than he was. He'll never be Mike. How Mike saved him. Steven Jackson was laughing about it. Yeah. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know who Steven Jackson was. Yes, That's the guy that claimed Floyd. Uh, what that about George Floyd with his brother, right. ex NBA star. Yeah. He was just sitting there laughing. Yeah. Isaiah let him know. Said, he said, you remember yeah. when you was out, yeah. you were done. He said, and you called me, and I talked to the commissioner, yeah. and I said. Ooh, I forgot about that. You did. He let him know. I made intercession for you. I made intercession for a lot of y'all. You just don't know it. You should be dead. A lot of y'all have crossed me the wrong way. You should been dead. Yahuwah have allowed me intercession for you. And that's also let me know I should have been cut off to a long time ago. A lot of y'all need to consider. For whatever reason, he done took time out for us to go through this, this lay room. Lay like y'all need to readjust what you're doing. Lay like y'all need to reconsider. Lay like I had to tell y'all stuff over and over. It's like I tell y'all stuff over and over. And really, you should pay attention. You shouldn't have to be told stuff over and over before you catch on and realize. You need to start making some real adjustment. This show no fight on the line. And a lot of y'all have been very risky. And re- I mean, you've been very risky. And it's, it's scary because when the last y'all mean? Y'all still want to play world. Y'all still want to play with this stuff. Y'all better get y'all set together. You still trying to play a game. You still want people to feel sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for none of you. Because I know what you would have gave you. Let me tell you something. Where I come from, if you don't make it, you just don't make it. You and your family, you just a sorry man. It ain't, it's impossible for a man to miss. It's impossible for a man to get behind. It's impossible for a man to hear. They got a good long lecture for you. That's what they got for you. You need some help. They make you feel they're tall. So you're going to have to get out there and you're going to have to get it. You don't get that, him. Y'all get the luxury of the help. Y'all get the luxury of the care. You know what I look at? We all in here together. We all in here, we all in here supposed to be fighting for the same thing. But not y'all. You're a taker. You're a thief. You're a liar. You, you just, you're just the worst kind. And he only let you stay here for a reason why. That's how he keep on barracking. Now y'all don't realize, only he carry y'all around. He got you around, it gonna hurt you later. That's why you ought to try to make 
preservation, make reservation to get yourself together. It don't, let me tell you something. If I knew I was no good, I knew I was right, I wouldn't even be here. When I say I know I came, I was. The fact that I hear the word and I'm still that person, it don't change me. What does this tell you about yourself? Oh, I guess it don't tell you nothing. It's too deeply embedded and rooted in you. This is, this is a serious matter. This is your soul. This your, you don't have a relationship. That's dangerous. You need a relationship. That's the only connection you have here is the relationship. If you're not born into it, the only way you get into it, you got to marry in it. How many of y'all were born in it? Which means you got to get married in it. Between them in a relationship. How this going to happen? See? It's critical. You didn't even think about it, did it? Some kind of way. No, you know some kind of way. That's the only way you can be grafted in. You either were born in or either you're going to be married in. Okay. The seventh chapter book of Romans told the woman that had the husband is bound by the law to her husband. How long? So as long as the husband living and she be married to another man. So did that make sense that I'm in a relationship with Yahuwah and I'm sinning? Because he said a woman that has a husband is bound by it. So as long as you are a sinner, I can't even have relations with you. Because you are a sinner. The only way that we can get into a relationship, that relationship has to end. And you are so dumb, you're asking him to have a relationship. They're asking this man to commit adultery. That's what they're doing. That's what you done. You know when Dao married Bathsheba? After Uriah was dead. When are you going to let Uriah die? I ain't talking about up there. I'm talking about the one in your life. The one that's keeping you from making this a lawful relationship. Because let me tell you this is why I'm saying this. A lot of you are fabricating how you're going to create the relationship. You can't fabricate it. It has to be done lawfully, okay? You're, you wasn't born in it. That means the only way you can join this family is that you have to be married. But you are still in a relationship, which makes it impossible because he would go against his own word. And you keep saying, why he save me? Why he save me? Because you're already married. The only way to marry you is you have to be released from the first one. It has to be moot. What that mean, dead? He can come back. So why you think you ain't in a relationship with him? After you heard it, what you think your problem is? Anybody know what your problem is? It ain't dead. It's still living. It's very much viable. This is why you're not in a relationship with him. Is this helping some of y'all out? It's impossible because this will make him a transgressor. He will be like you. You saying, come in. You saying, come. You know who they remind him of? When Yosef, when his master's wife, and he told her, he said, if I do this, who he said he'll commit this guitar again? Yosef went and lay with her and because she was laying with another people. She was connected. He could have said, man, I don't care about that junk. That nigga ain't no Yehudi. He said, no. I would could talk against Elohim. And you ain't going to believe it. Why y'all think Yahuwah ain't come in with you? Because this would be could talk. We need this conversation tonight. Because I need you to be practical after the day. When you come back, don't come back tomorrow. Don't come back tomorrow you're not practical. Because you guys haven't been practical. You've been trying to get that man to create something that's impossible. You've been asking this man, you know what you've been saying. Can you go against your word? Can you be a kazar? <laughs> Chris, you got to go to work? No, this Chris, this Chris phone over here, not Chris. Chris, he said, no, this one here. He said it clock, he got to go to work tonight. Not yet. That, what y'all think? What was the clock set for? What was it set for? For work. That's all we said. Mike, you tried that for real? 
What is your your phone? Your watch that went on? Who that was? Kev, come on, Kev. Kev, why you got them in trouble? <laughs> that man said right here, look, right. You, you don't need them folks over there? Shane, I'm, looking, I'm like, why Shane ain't get a weapon out of none? Shane pointed at Roy, Roy, Roy said, <laughs> then Roy pointed at Kev. He pointed at Kev, and Kev said, no, no, that's not Kev. Kev, okay, what you doing? Boy, you don't never know what's going on in him. End of the day, we want to make sure y'all got to come out. I want you to think about tonight what you're asking for. I want you to think about what does it really take for this relationship to happen. The only way for it to be practical, you can't be in that other relationship. It's got to be completely done. A lot of y'all had, you just kind of move it over a little bit. That's not going to work. It's going to have to be all the way over with. See, the purpose of why when he brought them out, when he told them about them not going back to Mizraim, you know what he purposely did? He's exactly right. I know what I told you, but I know what's practical. If not a time God tell you, okay, we get the game and put up in a relationship, you know, and then the person go back to the other person. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because it's still it's still there. It's still some feeling. It's still a chance. That's why he told them the Mizraim you see today. They couldn't see them no more because I got to cut off every avenue of you going back. And if the husband dead, guess what? You know how many people have got married and gone back? Yeah. They gone back. They, you're like, what happened? They were like, I mean, I, I don't know. It's like some feelings were there and some killing. I just kind of like something was pulling me. And why you think you're who not going to take you? Mm -hmm. Is this practical? Mm -hmm. Y'all understand this? Because yes, it's still a chance that you can go back. That was your love. Mm -hmm. And you can go back to it. That's why he need to be dead. If it's dead, guess what? There's no chance of it. What you're trying to do, it's too much opportunity. That you're going to go back. How many of y'all done said you weren't going to do something done again? You ain't going to believe it. And guess why we went back to it? Because it was there. It was still viable. It was still opportunity. I go back to smoking because smoking existed. I go back to drinking because drinking existed. If drinking didn't exist, smoking and drink, get what? I couldn't go back to it. See that? You gotta, it's gotta stop becoming existent in your life. You guys leave it as it depression, um, whatever it is y'all do, you leave it existing in your life. When something don't go the way you want. Oh, the bread. That, that retard stuff don't move. I said, man, just stop. I don't believe none of that stuff. I never believed it. It don't make sense. Because it, it just came out. Who, who in here got some age on? Hey, you got some age. When, when you remember, when first time, when you remember learning about depression? When you were growing up, who you remember had suffered with depression when you were growing up? Who you remember, who you ever heard of say, I'm, I'm suffering depression? Come on, big man. Come on, big man. Come on, big man. What? How you? Let go. Uh -huh. Let go. That's the bad leg. I'm going to kick you on the gut so you have two and make a set. Let go. Where you remember this? I've been really rough for anybody. You're 137 years old. Nobody never heard no depression. I never heard that growing up, Let go. You heard somebody had depression? Like on TV, that was about it. What TV? You watch a black and white. The little small one. Wow. <laughs> I'm on your okay. How you do, Kate? Who you know? <laughs> who, who, Malcolm, who you remember growing up, remember depression? Who you remember somebody, do you ever remember people talking about, oh, I'm suffering from depression? I ain't smell, do you remember anybody growing up before they were suffering from depression? I ain't laying count. You remember anybody talking about, I'm suffering from depression. You remember a bunch of people had depression, going through depression. I'm not saying that people didn't have things to deal with. People gave people a crush to get themselves down on. All that bipolar. We had Polaroid. Where did they get that bi from? Who Do you remember that bipolar growing up? That caster. Come on, that caster. <laughs> Eddie Johnson. Yep. 
talking about Eddie Johnson, Eddie Johnson, way back in when? He told you he had bipolar. Now, remember, that was the big thing about it. That's why he didn't play because he said he was, he had, he was bipolar. Hold on, he played. For, hold on, hold on for a second. Hold on for a minute. Hold on for a second. We'll get it. Seriously. He played for the Hawks. Played for the Hawks. And that's why he didn't play. He didn't play. He didn't play. Hold on, I'm going to play. But he played for the Hawks. Bipolar. I remember him playing. Right. But you say he didn't play. He missed a lot of games because they were talking about You care one and you get a number two. And he had, he was missing games. Yep. And he called you. He said, Lancaster, I'm missing nope. game because I spent my money. Nope. I spent my money on some polo. Nope. Look at Sarah Center. She don't know what to do. You have broke this girl heart. Sarah don't know he thought Sarah don't know nothing about it. <laughs> no, seriously. That was, that, that, was, that, that, that was years ago. That, that was one of the things they said that. Mac, you remember they invented basketball. Do you remember Eddie oh, Johnson saying that? Huh? Huh? I remember you talking, that ain't no basketball. That's a tee. Yeah. Remember that game? <laughs> And why I got a hole in it for the contain? <laughs> I remember him and John Drew and all them played together. Who did? John Drew. I'm in mean John Drew. Like Castle. You know why I keep these? These Jeff for you from now on. Because nobody remember this stuff. Y'all see why I can't come in with no written stuff? Y'all guys hurt me. Y'all to mess up my little stuff. Other preacher can do it except for me. I could be somebody. Y'all hold me back. <laughs> Man, no, he was said, No, I ain't never heard that preacher. Every time I heard nobody heard, he done. Like, I do remember one of them. How you remember what nationality you were? Right. I apologize, people. Y'all know this is not me. It's these people in here. Who else? Do you remember folk by Paula Ainsmith? No. 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 You sure? You sure, Mama? <laughs> Ain't like Calvin. Do you remember some? I'm just saying these words. Nobody heard of this stuff growing up. People, they diagnosed people and people bought in this stuff. I mean, you had people had. They didn't call them schizophrenic back then. They said they, they used to say they're a little touch. Y'all and then folks didn't use it. Y'all remember they said people were a little touch. The people didn't use schizophrenia because now I mean people back then they really had and if people really deal with things they just said they're a little touch because people didn't know what to call it. But now. Everybody now schizophrenic. Everybody, buy, every woman you date now bipolar. And the health ain't got no money. You say you quit buying that polar, you can go 50 50 on this date. On yeah. there. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all be with me. Help me out. <laughs> go. Tell them go bipolar. <laughs> I'm just telling you, folks, they created all of these Ill, all the ailments to get people to buy into these psychosis of things. And look how it hurts you with your servitude. They purposely sit here and put you, why I can't start doing, why I can't do right. Don't ask me. You need to tell me why. I should be asking you the question. Don't ask me why you can't. You know why you can't. What you doing? These are choices, people. You make choices. Well, he got to tell you. You, you hooch, when he took them over, they crossed over yard done. He asked them to do what? I'm finna make it choose. Why would he ask them to choose? It's a choice. You have to choose, people. Because you choose don't mean other influences ain't gonna be. But people be be at me. Okay, retard. You still gotta make a choice. Anybody can do it if there were no other persuasions. You still gotta fight through it. Y'all don't think I have persuasion? I told y'all about one time. I said, you know, you think I have opportunity, ain't have people come. My wife said, she said, hmm. she said, um, what was her name? <laughs> I, said, well, I said, I said, what? Her name. I said, I said, huh? Yeah, they not home, man. They not home, man. You know what I did? I took my phone. I said, here got my phone right here. <laughs> I said, what? She said, what's her name? She said, what's her name? I said, what name? I said, I had many choices. No, you didn't. Well, give me the names. What's the name? I'm like, what? What's all the names for? Trying to get in my, you don't know my portfolio. <laughs> they want me because I'm that bad. They know I'm that bad. Ain't that right? And that's what it is. They know I slide. <laughs> Again, y'all, choices. Choices, what's the most pressing? What's, the, what's your priorities? Put your, what's in priority? Sometimes you go to grocery store, you have a limited amount of money. You can't buy everything you want to buy. What you got to do? What's priority? I got to have meat and potatoes. I got to have tissue. There's other things you see. I like to have that. I really want it. But guess what? 
I got to look at what's more pressing. This, the same way you learn to start, the same way you learn your living, what's more pressing? When it comes down to a situation between you and your spouse doing something, what's more pressing? I like to get back and do that, but what's more pressing? Can I afford that? It's the same way why you look, why you itemize, you go in the store. You're like, I have a limited amount, so I got, I got to make sure I get the essential. You ain't got enough that you can get back and forth. Same thing, man, you ain't got enough the way you can mistreat your wife. Everybody here, you working with minimal. And y'all guys are here like you got maximum. You maximum over penalty. When it comes down to what you got to do, it's minimal. So you don't have that room. Y'all taking places you don't have. You giving opportunity. You ain't got that. Let's get this thing together, people. Yes, y'all got it? Yes, sir. I want y'all to really let this saturate in and get it. My young people, I mean that. We're going to work on this every week. It's the same thing. We're going to go over it. Let's come back with another scheme. We're going to look at another way we're going to operate. When we see we didn't, we didn't work proficiently the whole week, guess what? We're going to make change. We're going to say, oh, okay. This, no, what, where did we go wrong? Where did we go wrong? That's how we're going to fix it. Otherwise, you're going to grow up to be an adult, constantly making failure. At least I got three out of five. This I got three out of two. How you got three out of two? It's not making any sense. It's not logical. I want you to look at where you made, like when I laid that egg. What you think I'm looking at? Next time, don't keep messing around. Don't think too much on your stomach. How many of y'all don't went on the left? You're like, I'm just at P where I'm getting ready. I'm going, where I go. How many of y'all did that? And you said, I should have peed before I left. I hate that. And sometimes I still do it. You leave, something, like, go on pee now. And you go on leave, I should go. And something get in the way. You say, now you really got to pee. You sweating. Yeah. You say, boy, why well, I just didn't pee. And you know better. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, weak bladder. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Stop taking chances. Pee before you leave. Lay one egg, not a dozen. That's what we're learning. Y'all got it? All these are lessons. All right. Your draws ain't an egg carton. If you lay 12 and now, you know them going to roll out. All these things we learning to be better. You might get one good egg in there. That's it. Get too many, they going to smash. Y'all got that? On there? What you do if you lay one and one? All right, we good. Appreciate Mr. Hood. Y'all crazy.